Sweet Lou. Taking Sweet Jane. It's the Bennington Show. I'm Ron Bennington. And there's Gail Bennington. Yo. And I'm Ron Bennington. Hmm? Uh, it's a uh, Tuesday in uh, in the deep winter. I got the deep winter blues. I decided. I think that's what I have. I was feeling like really down and like tired. Dude. But I'm like, oh, I'm like vitamin D deficient. Or I was asking Chris if we all have some weird disease because here's what I've been doing. I feel like I'm up for seven hours, sleep for two hours, <laughs> up for seven hours, sleep for two hours. And then someone said to me, that's the Benjamin Franklin sleep pattern. I don't feel like Benjamin Franklin. No. I feel oh, like Christine said it to me last night. Maybe, maybe we all have mono. Chris, did you give us mono? I don't think I. You have know mono. what? You got might have got mono off one of your tender whores. Yeah, uh, he's out with those tender whores. I'm gonna see that stew tonight, so we'll see if I can give her mono. Have to. <laughs> it's actually Stuart, <laughs> dude named Stuart. He's really fucking sexy. Well, you A know what? These... <laughs> You're pansexual. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> A lot of these dates of yours has have masculine nicknames. Yeah. I assure you they're women. I assure you they're women. <laughs> they are women. <laughs> they are women. Hear them roar. <laughs> they are just my Tinder whore. <laughs> Where you meeting your Tinder date tonight? At a cocktail bar downtown. Cock. This doesn't seem like you. Jesus oh Christ. Oh, my God. Holy shit. It's just in. There's trouble in the mines. No. Oh, trouble in the mines. All right. It's an Amber Alert, which I don't ever remember signing up for. No. No. I think you, it's just like you have no choice. I got to take myself off those. The, I, I don't think you if, should. If, the, if, if I could, I would. By the way, 99% of the time, it means the dad picked up the kid at school and the mom doesn't like him anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like it, it's very rare that we're actually saving someone who got snatched by a right. a crackhead stranger. It's like just like a mildly bad dad is usually. Who it's a, it. the dad and mom have a problem, and the dad. It, the, here's what the, the thing is: the kid is with someone who loves them and cares about them, <laughs> just not the one that the courts <laughs> deemed. You know. <laughs> In other words, none of our business. Now I hope that's true. In, in this case, we don't end up. Reading some horrific story, and then people are going, you know, who <laughs> mocked it? Was that shock jock over there? It's serious. <laughs> that serious shock jock mocks everything. Mm. <laughs> I don't even think he supports the town. <laughs> I saw him shopping at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> See what we did there? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, we had Eugene Levy, uh, Daniel Levy, uh, and Catherine O'Hara. And Annie Murphy. Well, it was adorable. She's so cute. I was, I'm still feeling almost like starstruck. Thank you. From that unmasked. Like that, that was. From that interviewer? <laughs> yes. Uh, they were very sweet. So they, were they were very, very sweet, sweet after. They really enjoyed themselves. They told me. I'm glad. I'm glad too. But I just found myself just kind of like. Just staring longingly at Catherine O'Hara for an hour. Everyone's in love with her. And I, I try to get it in her head. Does she realize it? She's like, yeah, it's great, I guess. I don't I don't like working. You're loved. Do you understand I have me? a cabin in Ontario, and I wish I was there now. <laughs> Catherine O'Hara said to me yesterday, I listen to you guys all the time. Yeah, I heard her say that, and my reaction was just like, this does not come. You remember what I said to her? No. <laughs> no, you don't. No. It's just, he just kept saying no to her. And she's like, no, I do. I listen all the time. I listen to you guys. All... And he just kept going, no, no, you don't. Like, I wouldn't I accept it. I do. I would not accept it because then I think, how many of our shows are stupid <laughs> where all her shit is brilliant? Um, immediately, my thought is, how often am I quoting lines from her from Waiting for Guffman? To I am now show? embarrassed. Oh, because no. it's like half of the time. I'm she's, quoting lines from those movies. She's up there in Ontario, snowy Ontario, and she's having some tea, and she's like, does that girl have anything of her own, or she just <laughs> talks about my stuff? She's like a little parrot. Yeah. She's, she's like just... a parakeet. <laughs> uh, so I worked in a pet store, and a lady came in and says, I'd like a parakeet. And I go, I'm sorry, we only have one keet. <laughs> 
She goes, no, the bird. And I go, does nothing. I go, I just fucking came up with that. And I get nothing back with you because you're, you're a, a tender whore. <laughs> I'm going to lay down the law today. Okay. What's today? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. I'm going to call this No Trump Tuesday. Okay. I don't want to hear the name. I don't want to hear what they're doing in Washington. I don't want to hear who he's tweeted about. I just want a day off. Okay, that's fair. I'm in deep winter blues as it is. I Even know. though it's not an ugly winter. It's not, but it's still it's still gray. You still don't get that outside, you know, sunshine. I would, no, I'm sleeping most deep. of the time. I'm up seven, <laughs> sleeping two, up seven, <laughs> sleeping two. And I just came up with a way of getting electricity <laughs> on my key. Well, this doesn't sound so bad. I don't understand why getting electricity on a fucking house key is a good thing. Then what did he do? Where's fucking end up using it for the internet. <laughs> it's the dumbest. It's the dumbest thing anyone could do. And I remember hearing uh, it when I was a kid. And I'm like, well, I could fucking invent that. I fly kites. <laughs> did you ever really fly a kite before? Yes, I have. It's fucking fantastic. But it's been ages since I've. Well, yeah. I mean, you're an adult now. <laughs> you know, you keep flying kites now. They're going to lock you up. I know. I'll put you in Bellevue. She's been flying kites. She's been hanging around the playground trying to get kids to fly kites. By the it. way, I'm going to say this and get it over with. I have zero interest in box kites. Thank you. I just want an old fashioned kite with a tail. I don't want it to look like a fucking something. You're like else. a three dimensional. No, you don't I don't like need those. that. I want two dimensionals. How long have those been around? Like that seems like I, that wasn't even an option when I was a child. Well, you know what? Uh, ancient China. <laughs> I think kites are Chinese. I really do. <laughs> and they used to have Chinese fighter uh, kites, which made my friends try just trying to slap our kites into each other. But that feeling when the kite first, like, you know, it's not coming back down. You know me? Like, I fucking got it. I'm in the oh, air current. Oh, the it's thrill. exhilarating. Yeah, it's the thrill. It's very exciting until it's just not anymore. And then no, you're like, it. so it's just going to keep being up there, huh? All right. I thought we were going to have a nice day today, but we have to announce that there's been a change on the town hall. Yes. A change of date. It is now Monday, February 13th at 1130 a.m. The town hall with Artie Lang. Instead of Tuesday the 14th, Monday the 13th. Yes. Mon- Monday the 13th at 1130 a.m. at the Sirius XM Studios. But we uh, we haven't said yes to anybody yet anyway, right? No, not yet. All right, no. so it's no problem. Yeah. But anyway, there's been no, a change. Yeah. If you said in, you know. You ask for off for work, you're going to have to say, I, wait, I don't want Tuesday off. I want Monday off. And the reason, I just changed my mind. <laughs> That's it. Stand up for yourself. I, you know what I mean? I changed my mind, and I told all those big stars, I go, my mind has changed. It's Monday or no day. No, people shouldn't resend requests. We're fine. Do, do. Do 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 do. Oh, I do want to talk about this. <laughs> the last mannequin challenge that we'll ever put up, Gail has sent in, and it's f- what from a strip club is the way you have. Yes, yeah. it is from a strip club, and it's a little bit of a. It's a late jump into the mannequin well, challenge. It's way late. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, like the foxy ladies are eternal. This never gets old. And I think you can still enjoy it. I want to take you home. You know, here's the turn turn on that terrible song. All right. These are attractive women. But I'm going to say this. I don't like my titty girls to be hard workout people. Yeah. These some of these positions that are being held. Yeah. Not easy. Well, it's like I don't want Olympians. I want some. Ladies who have natural curves. Yeah. Some of these ladies are very strong and are holding really intense poses. Jesus. Like this yeah. one right here, who's just like That's powerful. scissoring and yeah. just holding her body weight. Also, though, I don't want a woman that looks like she can snap your penis off. <laughs> you know what I mean? With her vagina. Yeah. That looks like she's been working out her a uh, a vagina. Yeah. There's one, there's one uh, particular one who's just sort of bent herself in half, and I'm thinking that's maybe one of the least comfortable positions I've seen someone have to hold before. 
I love that these heels, these heels will not go. These are the same stripper heels my whole life. The clear plastic heel, they yeah, don't go away. Yeah, that's good. They don't go away. It's like. They buy them in bulk. Jen, you worked in a uh, titty bar in uh, <laughs> Orlando, Florida, right? Yes, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, do you consider Orlando or Tampa to be the the home of the titty Tampa, bar? Tampa, because it's like completely new. That's where people used to co- go to like, you know, see like more than, yeah. you know. More than this. <laughs> That's what I danced to. Yeah. <laughs> really slow. <laughs> There's the position of this girl holding something that it doesn't look like, doesn't look easy. I wonder where this place is. Um, cause they brought in what I would say the entire shift, yeah. which I'm oh, always yeah. excited about. This is everyone. They have pulled out all the stops and on their, um, on their website where they had released it underneath it, it also said now hiring. So cool. this is cool. This is like a little, do you know where it is though? What them? Um, I don't know. I thought it was in Florida, but I could be wrong. They look a little like kitties. old to be in Florida. You know what I'm saying? That fucking place should just be called Little Runaways. <laughs> little Runaways who need their money. Does it say, Chris? Right, the name of the place is Kittens. I'm trying to. I'm, it's not saying where they where they, it's located. Odd. Looks like Russia. Oh, Russia. Well, you know, most of the dancers in New York now are Russian. Yeah. Most. Really. Yeah. And so with a lot of the guys running it, and it's um. I would say a less than comfortable environment. <laughs> yeah. I'm being totally like, honest is it a little bit shadier than you would like? Yes. Uh, well, it's always been a shady business, but I want people who understand the American service mantra. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like intimidation is not yes. part of Like you service. fucking give her money. <laughs> give her money. Chill out. Oh my God. Okay. Just fucking stabbing people. <laughs> uh, now, uh, the not safe for work thing came up and people were saying, um, is this not safe for work? And it's very safe for my work. Right. But I don't know what the not safe for work threshold is. Some places, lingerie could be considered not safe for work. Absolutely. Look, if you work in most places, I would say, if you work in an office, yes. let's say if you're in the teacher's lounge, mm-hmm. checking your Twitter, I would call this not safe for work. I don't know. The teacher's lounge, I'd say it was safe because there aren't any kids in the, in the teacher's lounge. If you're in the classroom on your phone checking it out, then it's not safe for work. <laughs> I don't know what goes on in the teacher's lounge. Because <laughs> I mean, some of the teachers might not like to say it. That's uh, the thing. Yeah. Like what it, the not safe for work policy is, is like I was trying to work and I looked over and Chris Stanley was looking at girls kissing. You know, I mean, like girls kissing could probably be considered not safe for work. Sure. And these women are scantily clad. Yes, they're they not are. nude, but they're not wearing much. And there's a lot of ass. Like there's thong. a lot of ass and leaned over ass. Right, and there's quite a bit of split cheek ass. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. So you're and there's a, 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 a somewhat amount of spread eagle. <laughs> oh yeah, well, the eagles definitely spread open. <laughs> like here's an example: an yeah. eagle's being spread here. <laughs> Yes. You gotta be careful for that. And there's a woman suckling on her own finger. See, I don't think there's wrong Dude, with that. Side tit. <laughs> no, look, look, if you were running a business, there would be nothing that wasn't safe for work. You could fucking bring in a torso, a human torso, and it would be safe. It'd be a safe environment. You know torso. What I love about this man. I can tell Where'd you get that? <laughs> it's Mr. Big. I had a Tinder date with him. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why they have it for an answer. Right? Holy <laughs> shit, dudes. I just got the fucking perfect idea for uh, a movie, right? Okay. You follow somebody around on their Tinder dates, right? Okay. And you kill their Tinder dates. <laughs> so, <laughs> whoa. So, so That's the, good. So the cops are going to be like, hey, we, we found out that all four of these people had the same Tinder date. They're never going to go. I wonder if somebody was following them around killing. Oh, They're just going to blame Chris Stanley. No. Do you think the killer is a random actor or someone with a vendetta? Like someone who just hates Chris yeah. Stanley. Well, we're going to find out that it's an evil twin that he didn't know that he had. That's fucked and up. And the twin was up. I already got the fucking perfect name for the movie. It just came to me. Ready? Uh-huh. Love me Tinder. <laughs> 
That's great. It was like, love me tender, kill my date, <laughs> That's pin it all on me. <laughs> It's playing in every yeah. crime scene. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Jesus, no. Did he cut this track? Did he cut uh, he got got this parody? It's because whooped. you're a twin, you sound just like the dude. <laughs> <laughs> Love me, Tinder. <laughs> this is a fucking great movie. Get all the fucking uh, Jerry Brockheimer. Okay. Uh, and tell him, you know, just say this. Okay. Joe, are you tired of making shitty movies? Because I got a fucking great one for you. <laughs> you tired and if you me. steal it, I'll kill you. That'll be the new movie. And that'll be the new movie. And I'll be loving you, Tinder. <laughs> like that shit, Brock? Don't put shit in there, Chris. We're trying to have a PG movie. <laughs> PG's a bunch of women getting murdered. This <laughs> is your torso. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the head go? <laughs> what happened to it? And here it is. In the last scene, yeah. um, it's just Chris Stanley in prison just swiping, 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 <laughs> as they're coming to take him to the gas chamber. This is my last request. Just send me a cell phone with Tinder on it. Just I want to eat that. That's my last bit. That's my one last slide. swipe. Oh, you said slice. I said slice. Oh, God. He did do it. No. Dude, that's a good fucking movie, though. I like it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Maybe Greg at night can uh, get a hold of Brock on. I love him so much. <laughs> Just because he loves him doesn't that... mean he has his number. Because as of right now, I don't have an in with Bruckheimer. All right. <laughs> Remember how Chris uh, told us that it was Russia? Yeah. yeah. Fe Fez just wrote to me. Tell fuckface. <laughs> it's a it's a Vegas strip club called <laughs> Sapphire. I was, you yeah. know what? It's like a minute later, but we were on to something else. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like, then why was everything written in English? But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna drop it. Right. He gets the boots to him enough. No, Every website Some... goes to Russia on this fucking place. <laughs> You're fucking drunk, dude. It's a Vegas strip club called Sapphire. Oh my god. I stand by kittens in Russia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then uh, Fez said, I'd like to use some Tinder to start a fire in his house when he's sleeping. <laughs> it's dark, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Ye daddy likey. <laughs> Holy shit. We just fucking call our movie Daddy Likey. What happened to Love Me Tinder? Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Bo, Tennessee. <laughs> Mr. Bennington, how do? You know what? My dad's Mr. Bennington. Call me Mr. Bennington Jr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, it was kind of awkward that Vito answered the phone. Yeah. But I'm not a cast director or anything, but I think Vito would be the one following Stanley around on his little Tinder dates. Dude, that's a great idea. The two twins. I know, and I, yeah. I said that to him. I said, this is kind of awkward, man. <laughs> yeah, I get it. It was fucking weird. It was weird what went down there. Um, <laughs> Uh, Vito and I were walking together in the hallway, and we, yeah. um, Henry Winkler saw us the other day and said, "Are you guys twins?" Hey, hey. Said, You're twins. No, Mr. Winkler, we're not. Hey, Mr. Winkler is his father. He's Mr. Winkler Jr. <laughs> um, Tim, DC. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. The plot sounds a little bit like uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer, so you could maybe make a comedy out of it. Thank you. First of all, you're right. Now that it, now that you bring it up, it's a direct ripoff. High praise. Thank you but so much. it's an updated tech version of I Married yeah. an Axe Murderer. And we're due. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, enough time has passed. We need the reboot. I don't consider a reboot. We're gonna have to pay if we call it a reboot. Or reimagine. Love me. No, this is just love me tender. <laughs> I am not paying now. Love me tender. Love me sweet. <laughs> this is my torso. <laughs> so, so you're going out to your. Cocktail bar tonight. Yeah, huh? going on co and you know what? It isn't my speed. I don't like cocktail bars, but the ladies seem to like it. I prefer dive bars. 
I always want to go to a fucking dive. Cool. Yeah. I'm not saying it's cool. I'm just saying it's cool my guy. prefer. Fucking <laughs> hipster. That's what he fucking writes in his Tinder. <laughs> cool guy. Cool guy loves dive bars. Cool guy dislikes cocktail bars. <laughs> Dislike spending more than a buck for a beer. Yes. <laughs> loves one of those signs that says five dollars for burger, shot, beer, or. Is, you ever see those things where no matter yes. what you order, it's four bucks. It's amazing. You don't like any bar that serves wine. No. That's no. your big beef yeah, in like life. Whiskey and beer. That's all you need. That's all you need in a bar. All right. This was uh, sent in. Jen Selter, is she safe for work or not safe for work? I don't know. I would say safe for work. I would say, like, if you, let's say, stumble across a picture of her and somebody walks in, you're like, oh, huh, just some chick on my Instagram. But if you're, like, sitting at your desk looking at Jen Selter every day, I would say it would move into the realm What about of- Jen Selter's screensaver? Would that be safe for work? Mm, I would say, yeah, if it's a, if it's like a really serious booty shot, I would probably say most places would say not safe for work. Like, I would say I work Chris's places. screensaver, not safe for work for most places that is not serious. What like is that. your What is your uh, screensaver? I'd say a picture of um, Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton making out. But she's topless. But and pressed up bottomless. again. <laughs> and she's bottomless. And you're seeing some side nut. Yeah, there's some side nut. <laughs> <laughs> That's his favorite thing, side nut. No, I'm always seeing side nut. <laughs> It's this picture. It's of them both, both topless making out. <laughs> so I had to go do this thing last night. Everybody there brought up Chris Stanley to me. Really? And why doesn't Chris ever promote his thing? And they're saying to me, like, is it something you won't allow? Is it something serious? Except I go, everybody can promote their stupid, shitty podcast, Stephen Chris. Yeah, I, I promote mine. You hear me dropping plugs for Gal Means Girls available on iTunes. Download why won't you say it, Chris? And why Why is everybody down there annoyed with you? I don't know why. They never bring it up to me. I don't know why this, they have you down there. They, they talk to you about that. They just have Ron Bennington down there. God, say my name correctly, please. Bennington. There's no fucking <laughs> T after the fucking... I've tried to coach him on it. The issue is not the B. Go ahead and go back to saying the B softly. Mm. It's enunciating There's the no T in the middle of the <laughs> end. Now, this place that he works, right, it's so gross. The fucking guy's apartment, right, is where they do. And there's like 18 shows. And the guy's like, um, people go into my room and they sleep in there and they shit in my toilet and they eat my food. I go, no. first of all, you don't have a studio at your fucking home. You live in a studio now. Yeah, they've taken it over. And we go walking out, and people are, like, making frozen pizzas in this thing. And it felt like a porn set where they sell crack. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've ever been to a porn set where you can also buy crack at. But that's what it is. So all these fucking people are like, is there a reason that Chris won't promote high society? I'm his producer. And look, you can blame it on me, this woman is saying. So I asked Chris about her. She wanted to be our intern, and Chris cock-blocked it. Well, you C-blocked her? Why? People. Some, there's, not everyone gets to be an intern. And that the, the semester she applied, two other interns fucking were, were ahead of her. Yeah, but That's don't, don't Who's our you intern pick? today, Jen? It's Greg. Greg at night. And this is not Greg no. at night. He's round the world Greg. Round, round the, the world, world Greg. Greg. By the way, I love around the world, Greg. Me too. He was. What was he telling a funny story about? And he made himself laugh the other day. Oh man, I it think was we about were something like, he saw on TV. He loves TV. I think it was like he was remembering something from a movie or a TV. Oh, I remember what, what it was is. it. It was the opening to the Emmys when Jon Snow was in it, yeah. and he was like, looked like he was dead in the car, and then he sat up, and yeah. then he really, it really tickled him. It made him laugh it. at his own memory, and then that in turn made us have joy. Yeah, he does. I love that kid. I wish him and Jen would get married and have a baby. <laughs> Finally. Is that not safe for work, what I just said? I think that's more than safe. More than safe. <laughs> My work pictures are... <laughs> Send around the world, Greg, and I want to talk to him for a second. 
when I call him around the world, Greg, see how fast they can run. I love when they oh. run in. Wow, he's fast. Yes, yeah, wow. he is fast. He's very light. You're light on your feet. You're very fast, and he's got a great stride like a Penelope pit stop. Not right. only is he fast, but he also runs softly like an Apache. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? Like no he could sneak you into camp and scalp us <laughs> oh, yeah. while we sleep. It's not like when you see Chris <laughs> we don't oh, running no. down the hall, and you can just like One hear it through the soundproof. <laughs> it's like things are shaking <laughs> like it's Jurassic Park. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Around the world. Uh, you're the TV guy. You love TV. Yeah, I love TV, yeah. What are you watching now? What should I be on on TV? Um, there was a show on Netflix that came out a couple weeks ago called A Series of Unfortunate Events, based off the books by <laughs> Lemony Snicket. But that's for children, isn't it? Well, yeah, but it's great. Well, watch it's it. like It's like dark comedy, so it's for children, but it's also not because... Yeah, I don't want to watch their, anything a kid Their parents watch. die in a fire... Oh, that part's funny. Um, yeah, no, yeah, and just they they get like thrust into all these awful situations. Like, they're... but I'm watching children have adventures. I yeah. can't stand that and misadventures. <laughs> well, oh, I do like misadventures. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's like a baby, and she gets like dangled from a rooftop. Mm. Oh. Real good stuff. You know, yeah. I, I did. And this like... sounds like something that, like, if you were watching it in a van, you'd be arrested. <laughs> I was. Uh... <laughs> I, it was recommended to me, like, oh, it's kind of weird. You should check it out. I watched the first episode, and I would, I will not call it bad, but I just thought, okay, this is for a child. Yeah. Like, yeah. as a kid, I would be really into this. Yeah. Because I was, like, a little bit, like, oh, dark yeah. and yeah. gothy Oh, kid. yeah, you were a weird kid. <laughs> Plus, Adam's family had come out, and you mm-hmm. fucking were obsessed with that. Yeah. All right, give me something that adults would watch, something on the television screen. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, did you ever see Westworld? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a good show. Yes, I liked it very much. Awesome but show. I don't, I want the robots to die. By the way, did you <laughs> see, yeah, I, I'm against the robots. I'm not for them. Okay. I'm for the human beings, right? Because right. I really do think they're out to kill us with robots. But did you see this new robot movie they were showing the trailer <laughs> at the Super Bowl? Ghost what, in the Shell. What am I doing? I should ask Vito. He watches. <laughs> he loves every trailer. Yeah, Ghost in the Shell. Now, is that something? Is that a book? From that was based off of an anim- a manga, right. a Japanese comic book that turned into a movie that was incredibly popular, like among anime fans, and now it's a live action movie. Was that what someone had glowing eyes, or that was a trailer for? Where they took else? the girl's face off? Was it oh, a famous yeah, yeah, girl? Yeah. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Oh, because remember we were like, oh, because she was. Oh wearing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like a nude bodysuit. Yeah. yeah, not safe for work. Well, you don't watch movies, for just some. TV. No, no, I watch movies too. Really? Yeah, I watch La La Land. You know. Did you like it? I thought it was good. Uh, it's it's becoming a little overhyped now, but not for me. It was good I haven't when seen I it yet. It. I have a lot of homework to do. You know what I had to do? I had to turn off the fucking thing to come in here today because I was watching Nice Guys, that fucking movie from the guy from La La Land. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That that was a good movie. Though. Yeah, I agree that with you. All right, now my my. This is going to be my taste mate. <laughs> is around the world, Greg. Okay. You're going to be the guy who decides what I'm going to watch, listen to, and read from this point on. Wow, that's Chris. Yeah, that's, you that's are high. negated to. Oh, oh no, <laughs> you set me up for fucking interviews, which is really just everybody screaming about why I don't promote you and their fucking <laughs> network. And I'll be the one who provides all the strip club vids. Okay. <laughs> like, if you want to see some sexy singles, right. I'll have the vids. That'll be your thing. Yeah. Jen, you're the person that confuses about you and your sister and who's who. <laughs> <laughs> they look a lot alike. They do. How, how much younger is she than you? She's 21, so three and a half. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But she embraces the islands more than you do. Oh yeah, she loves going to carnival. She goes to as many as she can. She <laughs> goes to carnival and dresses up like she's in the carnival. Oh really? Yeah. She plays mass. That's what they call it. And it's yeah. like, it's like um, you kind of like pay money, and then you they set you up when you get there. Yeah. Like they pay for your drinks, they pay for your uh, you you buy your costume, which is like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. What? Yeah, it's crazy. But she's like <laughs> running around in a sexy costume. Yeah. But your dad's very supportive of it. Oh, he, he, yeah, because it's... The, Trinidad, right? Yes. It's like the culture. So it's no, you know... No their, uh, their song, their anthem, mm-hmm. written by Eddie Money. The <laughs> only, It is. Really? Yeah. Their national anthem is called Trinidad by uh, Eddie Money. And it's the only 
country in the world that has a pop singer sing their song, which I think is brilliant. Mm. You know, I'm very proud of that. People, try to, well, it's not lucky. It was actually done. <laughs> it's not like this happened by accident. You got this song? Yes. Play it. Yeah, turn up volume. See if you don't love this song. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. That's just that's the national anthem. That's so wonderful. But you don't go to these, people. huh, Jen? Yourself? No, I don't. Why? Um, I I went one time to Trinidad when I was like sixteen. I just yeah. haven't had the like desire to go back. I don't know. I didn't really like maybe because I haven't done like like the tourist version of it. Like I right. went to like the real islands and I just didn't like You're I got like, bit oh, my mosquitoes little... all the time. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh this is a little aggressive. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um what don't isn't there always a shooting at the Caribbean thing? West that was, India, West Indian Parade. Yeah, and then, yeah. It's like yeah. the night before is like the a big party. And yeah, that's always when a lot of shit goes down. Yeah, and then all, a lot of shit goes down during the actual. Yeah, period it's very well. close. It's very close to where I live. It's not too far, and it's always just like, oh guys, everyone uh, watch <laughs> yeah. out. That's this a night you got to stay in. <laughs> oh, let me tell you this too. So everyone's bitching to me about Chris, right? Yeah. Why doesn't he promote? Why promote. doesn't he promote? Yeah. So then Ralph, the guy who runs the thing, he's fucking confronting me about this and said that when he was away, right, these guys were sleeping in his bed and shitting in his toilet, in his bedroom, because he does this thing at his apartment. And he said that Chris had uh, cooked up some salmon was in there and then shoved the salmon skin down into <laughs> the sinkhole and had... Um, Clogged up the sink. So I said, Chris is a bear, and I saw him slapping salmon out of a river. I'm just trying to fucking move on right, from this sure. shit. Thank just you. Like, but that's not your problem. Why would you s shove the salmon skin? And he I, thinks it's you. I don't like the skin. That's my problem. Like, I just want the salmon meat. Don't eat at the man's fucking home is what he's trying to say. It was just there was salmon in the fridge, and he wasn't around. Well, I swear to God it was you. It was me. I was the guy who did the salmon. Thing. Really? Really? You're swearing? You the fish. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it. Yes. That was me. I'm it was driving me man. nuts last night because I'm like, fish man. I was like, I don't think Chris is eating salmon. Yeah, I thought all he ate was tuna. <laughs> Sometimes I jump over the salmon train. <laughs> I mean, I know you like a big fish. That's oh, yeah. for sure. A real big fish. <laughs> Maybe they got confused and it was uh, tuna. It was tuna skin. Was it tuna skin? Well, by the way, Chris, you made yes. my life a nightmare over your fucking <laughs> behavior. I don't want to make... The last thing I want to do is I'm make like, your life a nightmare. And that's not right for you. You go over there, you got to hear about all this stuff. You know, you want to have a nice time. And I thought Chris was going to be there, too. Like It's Chris's place. Uh, and this is one of those weird places where you just... It's in Alphabet City, right? Yeah. So you walk in off the street. You get into the elevator, you hit the guy's floor, and the elevator... Opens directly into his apartment. Oh yeah, that's very weird. I know and a couple like, people who have that. <laughs> and then there was just <laughs> these fucking people sitting around, like in the guy's house. Again, picture crack dealers on a porn set. <laughs> I don't know. I guess they had fun though. That was a nice night. But anyway, it seemed like the salmon skin was really a, a low point, though. They honestly thought that he had pushed the salmon skin oh. down so nobody would find out that he ate the salmon. Didn't think that would come up. Well, what do you think? It was going to be just... fucking fine? I figured there's just so many people in there. They, why would they choose me to be Salmon Boy? That's not even making sense. Um, yeah, you put a, a thing of a woman swimming with a massive manta ray. Yeah. I'm going to stay with the strip club uh, <laughs> mannequin challenge that Chris lied and said. <laughs> Chris it's lied. Every, every link on the YouTube page goes to Russia. <laughs> that is really? not Russian, dude. It's not. That's fucking Vegas. By the way, you're in a fucking titty bar in Vegas. You're dropping a lot of fucking cash. A lot. That's not like Tampa prices? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you could get a month's worth of lap dances in Tampa for what they have. Provided you go to the right places. Um, what did you say that uh, Doug Benson uh, left you a note? Doug Benson texted me uh, this morning asking, who won Highlander? <laughs> so it's like four, week, four or five weeks later. He's got the high court in session starting this month. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> it's going to be great. That is sweet that he checked up, though. Yeah. He just wants to know who won. 
And let me see the amount of ray up on the A bank. That is massive. It's more so Jesus. safe for work. This is Trinidad. This is off. Where's that song <laughs> this is at? what they do. That girl a place is a real <laughs> called Trinidad. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah, that thing is it's terrifying. Like, I knew that they were huge, but I had no idea. But I don't think it does anything to you, right? And she looks like a tall drink of water, she too. She is, man. Like, so like, that's not like a short woman swimming with that She thing. looks like she could be uh, married to fucking Brady. She's so <laughs> tall. <laughs> that fucking chick that Giselle, she's just wrapping herself around everything. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Look at them, like, swimming, like, belly to belly. It's insane. But didn't one of these things kill the uh, crocodile hunter? No. no that was a stingray. Was a stingray. Yeah, that was a stingray. That was yeah. like a point. That's oh, fucking racism. You would, no. That's yeah, like, he loves, yeah. he loves West Day. And that's your that's your world, Australia, right? Yeah. That was like really but, uh, heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, I was living in um, San Francisco at the time. Yeah. Yeah. When you got the news, it was like it was like your 9-11. It was like yeah. Australia's Yeah, it was a week of mourning. Yeah. Uh, oh, so what'd you do for afternoon? You just didn't have any. <laughs> now, his daughter now, Gail, has taken over, <laughs> and she's keeping it all going. She's like, look at this crook. <laughs> yeah, Bindi, yeah. yeah. What's her name? Bindi. Bindi. Bindi, Bindi like the, the She's named Indian, after yeah. Bindi. <laughs> she was on um, uh, Dancing with the Stars. Oh. And I think I she see. won. Really? Yeah, and then it must they, have been a slow they, year. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was big on, uh, on YouTube and stuff. They showed his picture. Yeah. During one of the her like you know songs yeah. dances whatever and uh, she started to cry. It was really oh, emotional. Yeah, why yeah. would somebody put up someone's dead dad? It's really picture? shitty. Yeah, that I fucking dancing with the stars is a mean fucking group of people. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And clearly they they're willing to manipulate emotion. Fuck yeah, they don't care anything for the fucking almighty ratings. <laughs> mm-hmm. You just like get finished dancing and they're just like, so we heard you were raped once. <laughs> like, Don't what? you just hate blunt questions like that with people? What gives you the right to just, when you're, when you looked over and your dad had a stingray thing going through his heart, <laughs> what did it feel like? Sad or, I mean, if you could use three words, what would they be? I never <laughs> swam with a manta ray, but one time, uh, I was in the ocean. We'd come back in, there was a storm. I was with my dad. And we had a tough time. Uh, we were on like vacation and we had to put the, uh, tie the fucking boat off in a storm, right? So when that was happening, we finally got it done. I was like fucking exhausted. I'm like 14 or 15 at the time. I'm just getting up on the dock and this family comes in through the rain and they're fucking screaming. They had rented a boat and didn't know what they were doing. And the guy thought he had turned the fucking boat off completely and he had jumped out of the water and he had left the fucking boat running with his wife and daughter in the boat oh, and they were shit. screaming and my dad's like let's go and i'm like you're fucking kidding me man. i don't want any part of this so we have to fucking dive in and help this fucking guy this moron who didn't know what he was doing and while we're doing it so these waves are just crashing we're trying to tie his boat up and this wave crashes into me and it's a fucking jellyfish, oh, right? Shit. Right on my face and it's staying there. Ew. And I'm like, <laughs> into the jelly. What I want to get, I, I screamed into what I would say was the jellyfish's <laughs> vagina and asshole. <laughs> it was the grossest thing. Like, not only did I have it on my face, but it was against my lips. Oh, God. No. Anytime that you're in the ocean and you get reminded it's the ocean, oh. it's just disgusting. Like, I was, I was snorkeling and I was looking at tropical fish which already was right. something i never that's thought i would though. do like because i yeah. i already was like oh that's a little bit weird but i was doing it and i was like this is gorgeous and then all of a sudden like it took me a second to realize like i wasn't watching like a movie right this huge moray eel Ugh. comes swimming up and like you know how they have like just like a horrible face that you know like the they're capable of bad things and i was just like i need to get the fuck out of here like as suddenly i just looked out into like where i couldn't see anymore and i'm like what the fuck else is out there like where the blue starts to get dark blue you know what i always think of then no. when i see that 
Yep. I fucking Shit. hear that in my ear because it looks like it, like a shark is just going to come in. Yeah. Because you saw it in the movie once. It's just beyond that shadow yeah. until it finally like comes into view. Like so scary. Yeah. So scary. And they tell you like a shark won't even attack you, but I don't fucking believe them. Because I got attacked by a jellyfish once right. in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Which, like, I think a moray eel is, it's, like, aggressive. I don't, like, it's not, like, going to kill you. But I think it could, like, bite your finger off or something. No. It could do that much damage? I, it can. They have, like, mm. A dog razor could bite teeth. your finger off, dude. They have, like, razor teeth. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You're, like, you don't want to be in the water with that thing. And it, like, opened its mouth. And it just has, like, razor blade teeth. And then I was like, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is like really the ocean right now. I don't like it. We're, uh, we're going out tomorrow night to the stand and, uh, doing an unmasked. I can't wait. Apollo. And, uh, Jess, who is, uh, one of the hostesses wants to come with a plus one. I want you to get that down. I will take that down right now. I love all those girls from the stand. Are you still writing on those random little shit? No, oh, this no. Is a notebook. You got it back. It's a notebook. <laughs> I don't know whether it is or not. I was like yesterday. I said, I think I need like a, just like an index card, and then like you just like had one, and you just had a pocket full of index yeah, cards. So instead like, of being grateful le- for the index card, you're like, oh, what a weirdo! You have index cards. <laughs> but you had a pocket full of index cards. He stole them from Ralph. <laughs> just random things written on Here, them. Here, right in the salmon skin. <laughs> I think, it's, I think it's decomposing. So but slimy. Take a note on that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the skins. <laughs> That's where all the nutrients is, but also where all the bad stuff, like all the mercury. So, uh, wait, <laughs> like, um, it makes sense. Queen said uh, that Chris probably thinks. Uh, Chris probably thinks putting salmon skins on a scabby penis <laughs> is some ancient healing practice. <laughs> That's not how you get rid of your stids, dude. Look, I got no stids. I got no stids <laughs> to hold me down. <laughs> also, uh, Jeffrey is bothering Patrick okay. about coming. I will text Jeffrey. Gary. But why does Jeffrey always got to be a plus one? We know him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why does he, he act like a date? I need a date if I see the guy so they know that I'm heterosexual. We know you are. Very. It's a fucking Chris Stanley free date. <laughs> you ought to double with him. Would oh you God. do that? Would you double date I think with I Jeffrey? Double date Jeffrey Garin. But you know what? The thing yeah. is, like, he's in the back seat. I, I don't know how long the girl's going to hang out for. Yeah, but here's the thing. Jeffrey also... You know, he always has a foxy broad with him, too. Yeah, he knows about a lot of parties with, with um, finger foods. Glad he said foods. He hasn't eaten anything but deep fried finger foods <laughs> for fucking years. Tiny cheeseburgers? <laughs> Sliders, they're called. Not tiny cheeseburgers. I feel like, all right, I feel like if you're at a party and, yes. they're, and they're handing out, they have, it's, a, it's smaller than a slider, the That's cheeseburger. Cr- you can't be smaller than a slider and be seen by the human eye. It's smaller than a slider. It's not a slider. It's a tiny cheeseburger when it's like an hors d'oeuvre. There's no, like, is, what are you talking a, about, like, some sort of, like, marshmallow-sized cheeseburger that doesn't exist? Yes, I've sort of got it at them at open bars or whatever. A tiny <laughs> slider would still be a slider. See, a slider's too big for the hors d'oeuvre plate. But you're willing to call it a tiny cheeseburger. Why wouldn't you call it a tiny slider? It's a tiny cheeseburger. It's, some, it's different than the slider. Slider is something else. That is so annoying, and I feel like he's oh, just Oh, look at this. It's the fucking parade in Boston's. It's thick. A lot of people there. Mm, they really it came out. It's rainy. Yeah. Oh, duck boats. Yeah, they're on the famous duck boats. Football mean anything to you, man? Yeah, I uh, I watched on Sunday. Australian rules? Or what do you watch? <laughs> no, no, I watch I watch everything. I, I watch the Super Bowl on Sunday, though. That's because uh, it's on TV. You'll watch anything that's on TV. Do you like Australian rules football? You know, it's okay. Yeah, just okay. For me, like any sport, if you can convince yourself that one team is the one you should root for, then you can get into it. You know what? You I know think. the best way to do it is gamble on it. If you gamble, right, 
you'll fucking be watching duck pin bowling like you can't fucking believe it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, pick it up. Pick up the fucking spare, you idiot. <laughs> it's very exciting once you have money on it. Look at that. They're packing out in Boston. Yeah. They're, they're not sale. used to it yet. You would think they're like, oh, we won so many championships. Yeah, there were so many teams. Yeah. <laughs> Ay ay ay! What a game, though. Yeah, it was some <laughs> fucking game, that's for sure, man. Some it was, game. It was a good first half. Yes, and, and then, then it a good went second downhill. Half. Yeah. Oh, you're a Falcon fan, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just a, not a Patriot fan. Why? Because well, now they have the same amount of ring uh, of rings as the uh, the Niners, my team. So oh, yeah. well, let's say. And unlike your team, they could do it all with one quarterback. They didn't yeah. need a fucking Mormon to come in and get one. <laughs> 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 who who do you like better, Young or um, Montana? Montana best, yeah. huh? I don't think there's any fucking human that would like, unless you're a Mormon. You're like, I fucking hate Steve Young. <laughs> here's what I think. Here's what I think. Steve Young fucked up. He should have spelled his name Y U N G and told everybody he was Chinese. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Would have blown everyone's fucking mind. I don't know wow. if they would have blown their mind. I think they were some It's like, this guy doesn't even look Chinese, and yet he is. Why don't you make up another lie about tiny cheeseburgers not being a slider? I don't think, I don't consider them sliders. It's so annoying because they know. It doesn't they matter do. what you consider when people go like this. That's what it is. Slider? Slider? No. Absolutely not because that's a tiny cheeseburger. I'm going to, um, oh, that, they're not that. No, no that's not, not no, a real I'm, thing. I'm, no, I'm not even going to That's like it. a. Uh, so I was at this Comedy Central party where they had food and people were just like walking around with the little things and like dumpling. You know, you get this tiniest bit of like, hmm. So I saw two comics who were obviously high. These are young comics that have done our show before. Okay. Mm-hmm. So they come up to me and they're like, do you know where the sliders are? So I point over at a table where there's like... <laughs> fucking things that the waiters are going to pick up and carry around, right? And they went over it, hovered over it, oh, and were just housing. That's not these how it works. Dudes. But these dudes, I don't, you know, I mean, like, they're really like Brooklyn comics, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, I got a gig, it's at a fucking laundromat in Brooklyn. And I just watched these two stone fucking hungry kids just housing <laughs> sliders. <laughs> And I, it, was, it made me happier than I could even possibly tell. <laughs> now, by the time that they ate, you know, 60 or 70 sliders, <laughs> it's just like eating two cheeseburgers, yeah. you know? So it only looks more massive. With like a higher bun content. Yeah. Because of surface area, I think. Well, that's why no fucking slider ever tastes good. The fucking... Too much bun. No, it's too. Uh, you're never going to get it like rare or anything because right, it's too it, thin and like you. It's actually over- cooking the top and the bottom at the same time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. More bread, no doubt. Overcooked meat. That's the biggest. There's your fucking slider. I go like this. Why don't you just try something else to disappoint me? <laughs> How about this? You make sliders larger. And then you just fucking say, here's the way the food was meant to be. Like, I wouldn't like if someone brought me in like a a little one square, one inch square fucking slice of pizza. Here, pizza bite. No, I don't want a fucking pizza. Here's a kernel of corn, too. I'll be back in a half an hour. Do you like Italian grilled cheese? Oh, and here's some champagne. Uh, doesn't taste good, but it's free. <laughs> Because no one would go into a bar and order a glass of champagne like a fucking idiot. No. That's only for events and, like, weddings. We're just a crazy Dude. person. We're just fucking totally nuts. Every one of those events is fucking hideous. <laughs> can you order tonight when you go to the cocktail bar, can you order a glass of champagne? <laughs> hey, for what? <laughs> when, me, when me and Artie were bringing in the New Year, we were, um, they put fucking water in champagne glasses for us because both of us mm-hmm. are, you know... And then we were just drinking before midnight, and the people were getting really mad. And they were yelling, save that for the toast. I go, it's fucking water. I'm going to fucking drink it any way I want. It's not an actual toast with water. Here's some H2O to you people. Doesn't make sense. No. But they need their lie. Yeah. I just want to say my toast is this. That thing you drank has brought pain to both of us. So enjoy yourself. Yeah. Enjoy your 2017. Is it 2017 already? It is. Yeah. Oh, it Jesus actually Christ. is. 
Um, hmm, let's see this. I want to talk about this. Oh, this is fucking great for your whole generation. IMDb mm. is shutting down their message boards. Wow. Now, I remember when IMDb Dude. first started, it was cool because you're like, oh, now I can talk movies with people. Yeah, like that. I used to... I used to always read those. I mean, Me I can't remember the last time I did, but at one time, that was where you go to hear people's opinions on movies. By the way, I do it every time still. And I can honestly tell you, it's only children now. You know what I mean? <laughs> there are children bringing up stuff like, the Godfather blows. <laughs> you know I mean? Come on. I'm not even kidding. You will see, no matter what fucking place you go, it says overrate it. Mm. And people are, uh, no matter who they are, accused of being, uh, the F word for gays. So. Mm. <laughs> Those get deleted. Sure. So you know what they were. So that's really why they're doing it. It's just become troll town. Well, there's, troll town is the entire internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although I do, like sometimes it is enjoyable to read people's comments but like for the most part i don't even do it anymore well i would love a movie debate at any time i love movies and uh, i would i certainly think that people should debate and enjoy debating art but when it's an obvious child who says stanley kubrick is a douche you know what i mean you're just like we can't start from this point <laughs> There's no counterpoint. To yeah. That. No, he's not. Transformers is better than, you know, like, stop it. <laughs> I'm going to delete this whole fucking thing. So it's no gone, which is it. crazy to me. Yeah. This was the entire big selling point when the Internet started was it's a community, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And now it's like a shitty, bad part of town community. Yeah. You know what I mean? A horrible <laughs> community. And every site has realized it. They're, they're just like. Most people are just like, just don't go there to most places that are just collections of people who are just like being, being shitty, being yeah. shitty, just being trolls. But then at that point, it's not even interesting because you really aren't hearing people's real opinion. You're not even hearing people's real grievances. You no, know what I mean? No, I You're agree. Not, like they're just calling themselves names and shit like that. Yeah. So if but it IMDb to me, it's still great. I mean, the fact that you could go find the cast name. Click on that person and find out everything they've ever done. It's still one of the best things that's ever been put on the internet. It's probably one of like the longest websites that I still use. Yeah. Like I've been using that early. web. Yeah, that yeah, it's website. very early on website. Yeah, mm. it still looks like it used to. It's just a, it's a list of names. It's very yeah. funny how some of those early sites, IMDb and Drudge Report. Look like it's 1994. Yeah. yeah. IMDb very slightly changed their, like, not their format, but just, like, their kind of the way it looked or the style of the layout yeah. or whatever. And, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same exact thing. Um, did you ever see a thing where they'll show what sites used to look like? There's this thing, they'll have, like, right. the sites. And, uh, I, um, Crystal goes to Persian Kitty. So he was very... <laughs> Love thumbnails, bro. <laughs> <Remember> <laughs> thumbnails? thumbnails. <laughs> they would take forever to load. Oh, just watching it. Just. I yeah, can't so wait we... to see that bigger. <laughs> Ooh, that looks hot. Oh. No, it wasn't. Shit. I waited so long and it was actually grosser than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't call it dial-up. It was just, just fucking internet. Internet. Yeah. internet. I always like when something first... Fucking starts. So everyone calls it that. Like smartphones. No one says smartphone anymore. <laughs> right. Or plasma TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> plasma TV. Until it's finally just the TV. Yeah. yeah. You know it's an old motel if they brag about color TV. You just say, <laughs> we have color TV. Do you mean TV? <laughs> I wish I could remember what people were calling or like gifts or gifs, whatever, when they first started? Because, like, I know it was a while until I knew that that was called a gif. I don't know. But I remember the first time I saw it was, like, a porn pop... Like, the first time I ever saw yeah. anything, it was, like, a porn pop-up. And I was like, dear God, it's moving! Like, I was, like, so freaked right. out by it. 
How? I couldn't believe it. But it's not <laughs> video. Like, but remember how they would <laughs> then all of a sudden just keep popping up until they froze your fucking oh, screen? God. Yeah, it was really annoying. It's a fucking nightmare, man. Fucking pop-ups. Why, what, what was their point, though? Did, why did they want I guess to make sure they're getting clicks or something? It's all it was about, clicks. Yeah. They know someone is going to click on it. And if they just if it pops up every single time, eventually they'll get clicks. And they'll make or, do they, yeah, or do they lie to their advertisers, like, look how many clicks? Because they won't let you out of it. Yeah. yeah, you there can't just get be out. Click and then another one. You're like, great. Close it. Close just, it. Close now it. this computer's broken forever. <laughs> well, and well, I have to show someone. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> this I was is on, not me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I was on Sports <laughs> Illustrated. <laughs> what could happen? I guess I was attacked. Really. And this little humping gif showed up, and it has nothing to do with me or my preferences. <laughs> <laughs> this is another movie. The humping gif. <laughs> I think it's nuts about IMDb, though. It just yeah, it is it's really like weird. a change, you know. Oh, it's like there was another website that did that like not too long ago. I wish I could remember, but it's like it's, I think it's, a couple of newspaper websites have done it. Yeah, um, like Gawkers or ex- Gaw- like Deadspin, I guess, or whatever that, that string of sites. They are very highly moderated, so you can post mm-hmm. something, but they like give it the okay to actually post. Yeah, right. I don't even bother. No, yeah, I never yeah. go to it. Yeah, I never like look at it. Sounds like you do. You're trying to act like you don't. Look, I love them. I fucking love reading right, comments on Deadspin. Relax, dude. You're already, <laughs> so everyone weird, already knows what you're up to. You're a fucking salmon eater who doesn't fucking promote. <laughs> and they said that uh, Chris and Bronx Johnny are furious with you. Why? Because he won't promote their show. That's terrible. And it's apparently not doing as well as the other show. <gasps> High Society Radio on GuestDigitalNetwork.com. Yes, but this, that that doesn't mean anything. What you just, you just said, said. It. You just that's said just it. saying something instead of promoting it. I and why 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 do you have those guys so mad at you? I don't know why they're so mad. We have a fucking good show. We see <laughs> we get along on the air. I don't know why they're so pissed. I don't know why everyone's going around my back to bitch to you. It sh- that was plugging last week. We had a Robocop show. It was a very funny show. Why were you afraid to show up with me? Because you know that there was going to be this. The salmon thing? Weird confrontation. I didn't, I had to me, no idea. When I'm doing something, it shouldn't be about you and how you're letting everyone down. It should have been about me. Yes, exactly. That's what I assumed it was going to be. So I didn't think I would have to and be And by there. the way, you didn't plug the RoboCop show. The iBank did. And then you were forced to mention it for them. It had nothing to do with yourself. And thanks to Bill Tressler for writing that article. So annoying, isn't it? That he's saying that instead of being in the moment. And then he made me walk into that fucking thing last night when I just had my Ben Franklin nap for two hours. <laughs> and I fucking fell asleep in a cab going to Alphabet City. Oh, my God. That's, yeah. And that's a short ride, too. For you. Well, for me. How's that short from Upper East Side to... Didn't you just take the FDR or you had traffic? You went on the FDR. You think the FDR just flies along? Sometimes. Huh? Sometimes it does. <laughs> that is like, that so much more Not controversial sh- than I thought it was going to be. There's traffic, yo. Oh, I know. I, this- <laughs> Dude, I know. Man, I'm with you. Gail, there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> No, you're talking. Chris, you talk to loves, Chris yeah. loves to yeah. when you are against me. He yeah. loves to stand behind you. <laughs> just be like, "That's right, bitch." I know <laughs> he hates you, but here's the thing: he'll never fucking promote the gas uh, shows. <laughs> Why won't you promote the gas shows, Chrissy? I'm gonna start because because of what happened last night. I will start promoting. I will let everyone know about Gas Digital Network and all. Its well, good. Networks. You gave in to them finally. They had to. See what they had to do to get you to do it? And they said they've been asking for years. And they had to go around you and shame you into it. Uh, James in Virginia. First of all, Ronnie, you sound like a million bucks. Good thank, job. Thank you uh, very hey, much. You know, a million. Remember, you remember WTOP and DC? They used to use a message board. Well, it was like a random message board. I think it was called Discus or something like that. And it became such a racist message board. They had to shut it down. And now you can only do it uh, with Facebook. And there's still racist people on Facebook. The, racism seems to be the number one troll problem. Racism. Yeah. It uh, like seems like that comes like first and foremost. Look, I saw a thing today. The Obamas were at Richard Branson's um, island, right? And they were riding around and they're having fun, blah, blah, blah. And then I read the comments. And this is like on the sun or something. And they're all racist. And you'd have thought Obama would have moved this into a 
post-racist world? No. He moved us into a more racist world. I don't know, or at least the internet did. It's like something well, I'm about him being, making it the president. Yeah. Force this even more racism. There's something about being, I guess, anonymous that just makes people mm-hmm. feel like everything that is dormant in them can come. Or out. if you, or if you were around these people, would they be saying racist stuff? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I really don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think most of them just seem like regular people. Yeah. Just walking among us. I know when I uh, went up to Canada when I was a kid, people said to me, dude, what are you kind of racist? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because in my neighborhood, that wasn't, you know what I mean? Sure. It was a norm. But in Canada, where people were nicer, they're like, oh, oh that's that's a lot of racist stuff. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, okay. And like, that's the first time it ever done to me. I'm like, hey, are the people that I grew up with kind of terrible? Right. You know, and then I had to go. Yeah. Now that I look it over, kind of bad. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I get it. But if you don't ever live outside of that world, you know what I mean. Like if you suddenly were in a world where people are like, "What do you do? Wear pants every day?" Like you don't realize it. You wear pants because people say put on pants. Yeah. And it never dawns you to have a different idea, you know. But suddenly, if you're hanging out in Thong Town, you're like, <laughs> "Yeah, I guess I am wearing pants instead of Thong." I didn't even know it. So. That's the fucking problem with being anonymous. You don't have a chance to be around people to learn, like, oh, here's the reason not to be that way, you know? Yeah, and but the thing is, it's not even, like, one type of site. Like, it's across the board, whatever kind of site it is, whether it's... Yeah, it could be anything. It could be yeah. a Jesus site. Absolutely. Yeah. And, like, even um, when... What was the, what's the name of the game that everyone was called... Call of Duty, Duty. when everyone was playing that, and I was talking to someone who was like, I had a roommate who played it all the time, and I was like, what are they all talking about all the time? And he was just like, "Um, mostly just saying the N-word a lot. I'm like, why? Any online thing. And I go, why are they saying that? And he's like, I don't don't know. But you know, it's weird when when I'm at a club, it's the black kids saying the N-word the whole time. And then I'll go on stage after, and I go... Hey, wouldn't it be weird if I said the N word as much as <laughs> that kid that was before me? No. <laughs> I, go, I go, wouldn't that be the? I go, wouldn't that be the nuttiest thing that ever happened? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> You're like, you just said it sometimes. And I don't know one black comic really that isn't saying it quite a bit. It's like last night I found out everybody wanted Chris to just use this show to promote, promote, promote. Hmm. And that's why Chris got me to go down there. <laughs> it took my Monday night just to have me just fucking get a barrage of this. Luckily, Big J was a little too high to jump in on it. <laughs> he likes to relax. He does. He really does. He likes, uh, well, the edibles seem to be the big thing, right? Everyone's eating gummy uh, weed food. Uh, I think it's hard candy that I'm saying. Hard candy? Yeah. I saw, um, well, it's gummies, chocolate, and hard candy. They, and it's fucking rampant. Everyone's eating it. Yeah, I don't, I couldn't get involved with that. Cause I like snacks. So I'd just be like, I'll just have another cause I like the taste. There's, and then, a, like, there's a guy who goes around later. to the clubs that always has candy for everybody. You know. And then one night he wasn't there and somebody who does this show a lot is like, where the fuck is the candy guy? <laughs> I'm like, chill, dude. Candy man. I really want that fucking candy guy to be here. Maybe smoke somewhere? <laughs> they don't. They don't like the smoke. Bad for you. And it's all hash oil. No one's even uh, vaping bud anymore. It's all hash oil, wax, and uh, and food. The food's too much. I was fucking eating uh, espresso beans with weed. I'm fucking my brain dead. It was, Again, it was, that's also like, you like to snack, Chris. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that's the problem. Too. You know, he's also compulsive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if he has, when he has Altoids, they go in a day. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen anyone eat Altoids. Like, he's, he's eating them like Skittles just or something. Hear, yeah. Like, it's like a bag of Skittles, and he's just like pouring them into his mouth. So he's like chewing like six or seven at a time. And then you turn around, he's doing it again 30 seconds later. Yeah, keep the breath fresh. Yeah, but it's a curiously strong mint, Chris. <laughs> Did you ever try the sour ones? No. Those were good. 
Greg around the world, you've opened my eyes. It's something I'm going to try out. It's around the world, Greg. They're the, the, the type world, of Greg. sour that you're... Around the world, Greg. Your glands. The, it's that type of sour where your glands are like, ooh, oh. I feel them. <laughs> I can feel them well, moving. Yeah. Chris, why don't you bring That's, some in? I kind of sour. I'm going to bring I'm some like in the tomorrow. kind of sour that like makes you, makes you skeeter or whatever they call it up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys like? I don't know, like when I moved to the Northeast and everyone like Skeeter. Yeah, Ew! What are you doing? What's and I'm like, I, know what this, I don't know what this yeah, is. I don't know. You guys, it starts with a G, but it's like this spit that comes from like deeper, deeper, and it's like gurgle, very liquidy. Yeah, like, like you yeah. can't even help it. It just skeets out. Ew! Oh, okay. I just saw Vito you know, and he just mouthed the word phlegm to me. I'm like, that's <laughs> disgusting and not the answer. That's gross. That's no. a trailer he wants us to watch. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's gonna drive me nuts, but there's a, like an, in the Northeast, they call it something else. And it's a spit that comes from like the, like your glands back here and it shoots. It's forward. almost like a snake spit. You ever oh, see like uh, a snake yeah. spit? Like, yeah. Like but it happens, it's, it feels like it's behind your tonsils. Mm. No, you ever do it on purpose? No, I, I cannot do it on purpose. I'm the same way. It has to do with like usually eating something sour or like, you know, like you're doing something, like eating something, and like you're moving your tongue around in a way, and it happens on yeah, accident. Yeah. And you could accidentally do it on someone, which is very embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what this weird pictures of Chris are. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember you even doing this. Let me see. What is they that? have a, uh, there's some crazy young person drinking. Maybe that you've made a weird. That looks like me, a photoshopped into a playground. Yeah, but that's real. <laughs> that's no. real, dude. No, it's not. Uh, I don't hang out on playgrounds. I don't know how, you, you how, we, how I lost it. They don't even like, they don't like, uh, they don't want single people. You have to be, have a kid to be in a playground. I get, I get drummed out of one of even, even, even adults. You can't Look, ha- you just you exploded can't. the, uh, <laughs> phones, uh, Trailer Vito is gonna fucking eventually get to it. There, we're gonna get the northern term for <laughs> skeeter. What, for skeeter. What you northerners call. Vito, skeeter. why don't you just focus on one? Here's, um, here's Nick, Panic in Detroit. Hey, what's going on, Ron? Uh, yeah. the word she's looking for is gleet. G-L-E-E-T. I'm actually southern, but. Gleet? Gleet? Gleet, yes. Uh, I, there are people writing in Gleek as well. Matt just put hock a No, it's <laughs> no. not a loogie. No, that's disgusting. And you don't accidentally hock a loogie. That's an intentional no, act. No, you have to want to. Yeah. In, uh, Gleek. In Australia, we actually call that a golly. A golly? Golly. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe it's just my father. I don't know. That's okay. Don't, but don't you back your dad up, okay? He's your dad's an Aussie. <laughs> Walsing Matilda. Chris, what are your uh, big uh, Super Bowl facts you had? And don't make sure they're not boring. Oh, they're not boring. <laughs> well, I'll bring them up right now. Yeah, because they're fun up. facts. I never have fun with a fact. Is it something we can play as a game? Um, Some of them can, yeah. All right, so the last, so out of the last uh, six matches in the Super Bowl that had the number one defense versus number one offense, what do you think the split is? Who's won how many? I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to say five to one. Five to one. Defenses have won. Five to one, baby. One in five. No one here gets out alive. Next fun fact. Okay. You get yours and how, I'll get mine. How long did New England Patriots? Gonna hold? make it, baby, if we try. How long did the New England Patriots hold the lead during the Super Bowl? They never had the lead mm-hmm. until they won the game. One hundred percent correct. Do you feel like we haven't watched the game? To yeah, ask a I mean, question like that. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't have fun with that one. How many? All right. It's not even a fact, really. <laughs> of the last 13 Super Bowls, mm-hmm. okay. The team wearing white. Mm-hmm. How many times have they won? Well, first of all, this is a great question. I would always want white for my team, even on Madden. I want white because you can see it better. 
I'm going to say they won 12 out of 13. Okay. Jesus Christ, yes. Oh, my yeah. God. 12 out of 13. Well, I'm just right. going with one. You go back that far until there's a one. That's right. People were saying the Patriots should wear white. I agree. And, the and I'd get rid of the fucking wearing pants, wearing. too. I would yeah. want white pants. I want total white. How many running plays did the Falcons... I just want to point out, that's not me singing. <laughs> How many it's running so plays good. did the Falcons run after they were up 28-3? Oh, they didn't run very many. I'm going to guarantee it was under six. Five. Five running plays. There you go. You're good at We're this. We're doing it. It's us. It's okay, the three cool. of us. We're on the same team. You know what? Make it Jen and four of us. Okay, yay. Jen, you don't like to talk from the other room that much, do you? I, I mean, I like it. It's okay. okay. I get to see you guys. Aww. Uh, <laughs> she's so nice, isn't she? She's a sweet thing. Yeah. What do you think, Matt? Right, what God, was Matt Ryan's? So dull now. You're just harassing us. <laughs> Ron, we what? already won. What? Why aren't you promoting your fucking shows that everybody's bitching me about? Dude, you can't fucking set me up like that again. I didn't know it was a fucking setup. Did you ever listen to that show before you sent me down there? I've uh, I've actually never listened to the SDR show. What? Was Why did Matt- you book me then? What was Matt Ryan's QB rating for that game? And. This is in the side. This was on TV. It was like 144. 144. Yeah. Highest rated You're ever. Winning. For, for a losing, losing quarterback. quarterback. Yes, that's why I know it because they brought it up. But that goes to show you. And he only threw the ball 26 fucking times. Mm. They did not have the ball at all in that game. All their scores were fast. So that's why the, that defense blew up at the end of the game. Mm. This is really dull, Chris. <laughs> According to ES, this is a final fun fact. According to ESPN, at one point, what was the Atlanta Falcons win percentage for the game? Like they were this, they have this much percentage of winning the game. 100. Well, it would have been close. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't, but it was like 99 percent, 98 point six, 96 point six percent chance of winning. Well, here's point. the thing with that. I mean, if they would have ran three times, and you remember, mm-hmm. guys, said, yeah, and they said to everybody, "It's over. Here's three runs and a, and a field goal." This is being debated for days. This doesn't get debated. It should have just happened. Mm. I mean, you don't have to be a fucking smart football person to know that. You just fucking do it. It's known. All right, I can't keep watching this because I'm on a Mm-mm. Trump-free day. Yep. It's Tuesday. We should actually take a break. From Trump? No, for a break, though, we have to do a live read. What oh, live read? Mrs. Fields. Oh, I'm excited about that. Me too. The delicious. I can't wait. Mrs. Fields, you've got uh mm-hmm. what are you doing blessing the music? <laughs> lower that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, said, I'll lower that. <laughs> Why don't you make oh, me walk through another gauntlet for you, Chris? <laughs> Seriously, you owe me now. You realize that, right? <laughs> Why did you set me up like that? I didn't I didn't mean that it wasn't meant to be a setup. Can I tell you something? I think the fucking world of you. Thank you. And a setup like that just shocked me. I think the world of you. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh-huh. All right, why do I just see this on the screen thing? There was a kid in my school who shit himself in the hallway, but he was wearing gym shorts and he left the trail everywhere. He had to change schools. <laughs> <laughs> this must have been from uh, Jim and Sam earlier yeah, today. This was like a note from the other room. <laughs> so fucking funny. Oh, so that's just a note that someone like when their producer wants to talk? Yeah, they'll send I, a note. Vito, I want you to do that now. If you want to bring up a trailer or something, <laughs> write to me. <laughs> so, but oh, I, might feel, I didn't even know that was a little notepad he could use. Yeah. Why aren't you guys doing that? Yeah. Usually they just uh, relay information to my ear. It doesn't, it's not yeah. working. Why don't you use the, uh, little And then text? you can write back. Yeah, there we go. How long, how long ago was I saying years. there needs to be a G chat thing that's going back and forth because text messaging doesn't work and sometimes we have it. We have the technology. Oh, they just said, hey guys. Good one. But don't you realize that you could be doing that and not so stupid all the time? <laughs> I don't think I can write back. Why not? Yeah, you can. Just do if it. If someone can write, you can write back. <laughs> no one you would make that pro keyboard try it. No, this keyboard, I don't have the keyboard that connects to that computer. Why wouldn't you ask for it then? All the I time am. you talk to Don, you can say, we need a way of talking back and forth. Not just going, well, there isn't any. Nothing I can do about it. Don's always saying, how can I help? <laughs> There's like, we got it, buddy. Don't worry. <laughs> don't even fucking start. 
Remember the other day the way he was talking to Dom, we were having to stop him? <laughs> it was like a, you still even at the thing. We were like, easy, man. This is a nice conversation. Didn't realize. <laughs> Sometimes you don't realize you're an aggressive dude, Chris. You know what I mean? Like, we know it. Dude, you know what I mean? Like, we know you, but other people don't. He fucking sent me down to a gauntlet of all his <laughs> shit last night. What is this golden gauntlet you set him up for? I thought I didn't know it was going to be a gauntlet. <laughs> golden gauntlet. You know what? It was all about this shit that you're not taking care of in your own life, though. And you forced it on me instead of dealing with it. I, 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 I was fooled as well. His producer wanted to be our intern, and he would not allow it to happen. Because he doesn't want his worlds to rub up against each other. You don't want... That you want to see though. your worlds scissoring each it, other on the floor. It makes sense when you're living a, a life of disgusting um, abuse, you know? <laughs> salmon abuse. <laughs> What'd you do to that salmon skin, Chris? You know what? Shit out of it. Oh, it just was... the shit. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, like, the salmon. Oh, man, you ate the shit. I ate it oh. lovingly. Oh. oh. Like he was looking at Ew! fucking fish <laughs> Get you know what? Worse, Chris. Let me no. break, Chris. Okay. We'll do the live read. I think it'll be great. We'll come back. Bennington. Bennington. Raw Dog Comedy. Sirius XM 99. This Valentine's Day, give your sweetheart what she really wants. Cookies from Mrs. Field. For some reason, you're still thinking about the big game. It's over. Stop thinking about the game. It's over. You got to get your head in this game. Big romance. All right? It's update. Valentine's Day. Update. That's what you got to do. <laughs> it's time to call in Mrs. Fields for ooey gooey treats no woman can resist. Let me tell you, these are the stuff that I love best. The chocolate chip cookies, the brownie bites, blondies, mm. and the macadamia knit cookies. Mrs. Fields has all the good stuff. So don't wait until the last minute. There's nothing worse than being that guy who's picking up the same old tired gift at the drugstore the day of. Instead, give her something sweetly decadent, like a tin of her favorite Mrs. Fields cookies or bars, and watch her melt. Order now at mrsfields.com and save 15% with code SXM. I'm, I'm putting mine in right now. You know what I'm getting? What? Macadamia nut cookies. <laughs> you know what? Here's my thing. And Jen might even back me up on this because she likes to play the game of Amore, right? Instead of sending... Uh, your Valentine gift to her directly. Send it. And this, I feel like I invented this. Send it to work. That way, all the people at work sees that she has someone who loves her, and that makes them jealous, and that makes her feel even better. Send the cookies. Surprise her straight to her office. This Valentine's Day, give her what she really wants. Order now at mrsfields.com. And remember to use the code SXM to save 15% on your order. That's code SXM at mrsfields.com. It's Bennington Show. Uh, Chris, what kind of uh, naughty little bits did you have for us, you said? <laughs> Okay, so okay. Bella Thorne, are you aware of her? She is the young actress <laughs> that the internet's in love with. I don't know anything about her. I always get her confused. Is Bella Thorne the fictional character from the vampire movies? No, Bella Thorne's yeah. a real person. Well, what has Bella Thorne been in? Um, she's been in some Adam Sandler movies, and I, I don't know any of her. I just know she's an actress. I've never seen any it of her movies. It seemed like before you brought that in, you would be able to look it up. You're like, every, everyone knows her, and he doesn't know one thing. Well, well she, what about her? She posted a Snapchat where she had a nipple, uh, a, a see-through she top. Nipple. She had a see-through top on her Snapchat. You're so fucking bad at explaining yourself. Let's see the Snapchat. <laughs> Let's see her this she, nipple that she <laughs> apparently has. Me fucked up. Right there. Me fucked up. The left breast. She doesn't look that young, dude. She's like 18. Really? Yeah. Wow. She looks like she's pushing 40 to me. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. She looks much older than she is. Send that video in here. Young video, Vito. The, well, the video. I don't know if I make <laughs> Do you it. hear the song? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you need is to have all around the world fucking teach you how to dance. 
Because mm-hmm. you are loud. You got oh, fucking Frankenstein. You, you need to be light on your feet. I've heard I, silverware. I want to just bring this up. I got this an email from somebody who doesn't wish to live a private life. Public. Oh, yeah. Public <laughs> life. You're right. He does wish to uh, use a, a lead a private life. Chris and Vito are complete idiots oh. if they don't get Greg around the world in a production room and use that great Aussie accent on every production piece and do it before his semester is up. Greg should be voicing promo segment intros and drops. I hope the twins realize the gold mine they have there and use it. Chris should put down the salmon skin mm. and grab that kid a mic. Jeez. That salmon was shoved into a sink. I did put it down. <laughs> and we're not twins. That's just what Henry Winkler Would thought. Would you just pay attention to the important part of this? <laughs> he realizes that this is an underproduced show. Yes. And you two people are supposed to be part in charge of production. And you have a guy with a unique voice. I think it's a pretty Instead good idea. Instead of bringing up that you're two twins who eat salmon skin. <laughs> you don't know by association. Peter, did I tell you what happened when fucking Chris books me into this nightmare? All of his shit that I had to hear last night. Seriously, you know what I wish that you would have? What's that? Some just fucking pride when it came to your your private life. <laughs> Vito, is there a trailer that you saw that you want to bring up today? I mean, like, other than the Power Rangers one was the last hot one that came out everybody was talking about. Power Rangers? Yeah, they're rebooting, what are you, five? They're rebooting the Power Rangers. People are pretty pumped about oh, it. <laughs> By the way, uh, the world's oldest comedian... Uh, has died Professor Erwin Corey, uh, 102 years old. He was the uh, authority on everything. Very, very funny man. Um, uh, now moving up, this is surprising, Rich Voss. <laughs> moves into the number one spot. No congratulations. Idea. Moves into the number one spot. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. Well, congratulations. Um. Jonathan sent this in to Chris. According to ESPN, a large slider with cheese is called a cheeseburger <laughs> slash fun fact. Look, let me just tell you something. What's that, Ron? And get it out of the way. Yeah. The response to fun facts is yeah. not what we were looking for. I was hoping for more, Ron. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Maybe if you didn't come up with an... Lame zoo name. <laughs> I'll tell you right facts. now. I'll tell you right now. I tried to have fun with those facts and I just couldn't. I you know, I was, like forcing, any, I was forcing to smile. I feel like <laughs> anybody who watched the game knew those facts. Like a fun fact was something that you don't know. They didn't know about yeah. the uh, the white uniform. That was yeah. indeed a fun fact. The last twelve. Did, didn't you pick one? the exact? Number yes, I went to number one because I'm watching TV that day. These fun bugs that you got yeah. were on the broadcast. I didn't realize that. I only watched the game. I didn't watch anything beforehand. No, it was on the game. Oh, God. Joe Buck gives out fun facts, the fucking idiot that he is. <laughs> that wasn't pre-game. How would they be able to pre-game those facts? Good point. They, didn't they were about yet. the Super Bowl. These post facts. <laughs> um, I know, like, by late last night, I'm like... I'm like, well, I don't want to hear another thing about the Super Bowl. I've been obsessed with it for 24 hours. <laughs> I've got it all. I was so glad I got to see the people in Boston celebrating, though. I enjoyed yeah. that. And now, like, now you've seen all the drone videos and stuff. Did like- you see the number of people that showed up to support the Falcons when they got back to Atlanta? I didn't see that. It was like 14 people. Oh. It was really fucking sad. That's not great. But those people in Atlanta are obviously mad at their team. Yeah, some bad decisions were made there. They choked. Yeah. They choked. There's no way around it. And, you know, Brady's getting all the fucking joy out of that choking and being called the greatest of all time because the team that should have easily beat him once they were up couldn't do it. Couldn't fucking close the door. Couldn't run the football. When did you see the running in the first fucking quarter? Yes, they were running all over the pets. Like the first, you, that was before your blackout even started. I know. I was like, "Holy shit!" Devontae Freeman just ripped off a forty-yard run. It's over. Um, Greg Madison. Oh, I'm right here. Hold up. Hold on, I'm right here. Sure, hey, buddy. Hi, Bennington. Sorry it took so long. No, no worries. Just calm down. Everything's good. 
I was reading New York Times this week, and and there was an article: how many comedians does it take? You know about the movie, yeah. and they brought up my favorite Jim Norton, how he came in for a reshoot for De Niro on the last two days of the movie. But the funniest part is they said Rich Foss, you know, he wrote the movie, right? Yeah. So, well, they said all his jokes were cut. How mean is that? Well, he didn't write the movie. I think he came in to punch up. Do, you know? Yeah, a little punch and it, up. It's very common in movies. It doesn't have anything to do with and anything personal. It has to do with time and stuff like that. A lot of Even a lot of screenwriters who do that kind of work, they're just like, it's a payday. So yeah. it's like... Whether they use it or don't, they're like, yeah, that's how it goes. And uh, this, uh, I, I, there, there was no real opening to that. That I would love. Just a big shout out to Jim Norton to read about him in the New York Times. I'm so proud of him. He's such a great guy. Well, he is. He really is. And uh, you know, I mean, he's done. He's he's done a lot with his career. Um, but this movie did not open the way they wanted it to at all. I wish they would have just put it directly on demand. Or the flicks of net, as yeah. I like to now call them. Let the people get to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let the people decide. You <laughs> exactly. <know? laughs> we the people. That's what I like to say. <laughs> uh, Vito, what was it that um, you put up a thing about the big fight at the British McDonald's? Was that you or was that Chris? Oh, yeah, that was me. British McDonald's, people are going all nuts. Chicks are getting involved in the fight. Like, Is it a world star type thing? It's a world star type thing, but it's on YouTube. But people enjoy watching, uh, I would say, people who are uh, working class people fight. They do, and they like to see them fight in places that they've been. (laughs) They're like, oh, look, that's a diner. I know what that would be like. They like to see them fight at Denny's. (laughs) Look at Melissa McCarthy back on TV. Oh, she looks great. Now, I mean, now that you're seeing him, right? Uh Uh-huh. She looks just fucking like him. (laughs) I mean, she looks exactly like him. And they got the hairline. How would so they good? fucking know that though? Because I I didn't see it before they did it. <laughs> What's his name? Spencer. Spicer. Spicer. Oh yeah, Spencer's the guy that books for us. <laughs> God, hit it, Chris. Let me see this thing comes back. Get a fuck away from me! <laughs> Oh my god! We're behind them! Oh shit! Alright, stop falling! Stop falling! Yes! Yes! British people love the fucking. Little British people love the fight. Oh my god. Just in the line there while they're waiting to get chips. How long is this? Yeah, they're getting their chips. (laughs) And bag of bites. Bit of chips and burger bites. You got any snappy shakes? <laughs> it's ice cream juice. Mama, get the ice cream juice. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! What is that? An umbrella? Just chicks going nuts. Yeah. She's a Manchester U fan. So, now what? someone's got a mop. They call that a spongy stick over there. <laughs> get me a spongy stick. <laughs> The British need to get more drunk than most pe- other nations, too. That seem to be just hammered all the time. I forget who... You know what? Let me uh, check with uh, around the world. And by the way, you, neither one of you reacted to Fez's email about how you two lazy bastards could be putting together a production thing for the first demo of this year. Uh, I wanted to ask you about this. What's the story with all the poop in the Aussie beaches? Have you seen that? Yeah, turn that on. Yeah, turn on his mic. Yeah, no, I actually haven't seen that. <laughs> uh, who sent it in? Yeah, so there's they're having uh, some issues uh, just with, I guess, their drainage system, and it's just pumping into the beaches. And now they've marked like, uh, like a ton. Look at all along the coast <laughs> oh of God. where they're advising people not to swim because it's full of shit water. You're just gonna have to swim inland. And then there's just like, there's photos of just like brown, brown foam kind of like lapping up on the beaches and oh. it's raw sewage. Dude, brown oh. foam is what got to me. It hey. almost made me throw up. Oh. Oh. Look at it. Mommy? Look at the foam. Look at the poop. Mommy, foam. I've been in the brown foam today. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is wrong with your fucking country slash yeah. continent? No wonder you went around the world to get away from that. <laughs> you need Eddie Money 
to fucking write a song about your like two different trinity. We do. Oh, the brown. Oh, uh, the foam is so gross. And they call them poo beaches. <laughs> Mel- Melbourne's poo beaches. <laughs> oh, they're in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, there you go. Sydney safe. Let's see. Let's see. Pull up the map. Go to Sydney pool beaches. Pool beaches. <laughs> they they call it the swimming pool. Look at that map. Look, you it's be covered fucking... in poo. The whole map. All of it. A good portion. Yeah. What are you guys constantly shitting over there? <laughs> you just shit directly into the. <laughs> we got nothing else beach? to do. Look, yeah. you sit beach. around, you shit in the water, you listen to Powderfinger. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal. If the fish shit in the water, why can't we? That's what the Aussies have finally asked themselves. Well, yeah, because we're so scared all the time about the, you know, the spiders and snakes. That ain't what it takes to love me. <laughs> you poo, oh, my you God. Poo. Chris has zoomed in on the poo foam. Chris, how much to dive in there? How much to dive in poo water? <laughs> and the Melbourne Poo Beach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melbourne. Uh, 500. I'll fucking take a nice long dip. <laughs> Swim. You're gonna die. I want to wait. I'm gonna wait and dunk you're my head underneath for the 500. Okay? Brown dude, unless you swim, you're getting 75. Oh come on! <laughs> you can't just wait around. It's not funny. You have to dive. You got to dive in. Mouth what open. Float? What if I just do like a float? In the, you can't in the float. I can float. 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 I can float. That you don't fucking move your hands <laughs> and you're swimming. You're oh, dying. that's so all <laughs> When you're swimming, you start moving your head. Fuck! I'll float in the pool water of Melbourne for 500. Melbourne. That's Melbourne. A, Melbourne. Yeah. You face down in it? I'll, 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 I'll do a, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll turn around into it for like, you know. I'll tell you this. <laughs> turn around into I'll give it. You, twist. I'll give you uh, a, a fucking hundred right now if you go stick your face in the toilet here and suck water in and spit it out. Oh. Will you Down do the- it, Chris? <laughs> Will you make this show day. special <laughs> and stick your face in the poo water? <laughs> Here's what I understand. You know how we love all Chris, right? <laughs> Why is the other fucking show so mean to him? I don't know. Like, harassing. we just adore him. He's I know. Just a sweet I thing. I think the fucking world of you, Chrissy. Thank you. And I'm glad you're dating. Thank you very Me much. Me too. And I'm glad you're not doing your production work. I'm not like... <laughs> Because well, no one's guys... glad for that. <laughs> I'm glad that He's you ignore basic you. fucking producer responsibilities. <laughs> oh shit! <sighs> I'll get sorted out. Step <laughs> one. Why you? Once again, this poo beach. <laughs> Chrissy oh the poo God. doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's both he's both Christopher Robin and Pooh at the same time. Look at that one lonely guy on the beat. Is that a dude? Just no, that's a turn that starts to walk. <laughs> oh that's evolution God. taking place. <laughs> that's shocking. A shit monster. All right, Chris. The Pooh monster. Sorry, just yeah, relax. You were calling it. Don't Melvin be blunt, Pooh. man. Be funny, not blunty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I couldn't walk five feet last night without hearing about that fuck. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my I god! You would know if you would have went. I, I really also, it's just like they were just coming out of the woodwork. I didn't like that, cover my ass. And the place is like the Lost Boys at Neverland. Just like what about Chris? <laughs> They're all just living in little hammocks all oh. over the institute's apartment. <laughs> that they were hanging from the ceilings. <laughs> Want some Super Bowl fun facts? <laughs> the Patriots sure won by this many points. <laughs> that when they get into the end zone, true or false, they get points for that. <laughs> Come on. This true. isn't fun, Chris. You're not having fun right now? I don't even understand this. Patriots DC. What's that mean? Defensive coordinator. Spotted in Roger Goodell. Clown shirt. That's something that you want to fucking put out there. <laughs> you gotta go. Hold on. Too. I gotta see this. What does this mean? <laughs> it's right, right up there with Bella Thorne's nipple. That, people want to see nipple, Bella. So what? People want to see it. Okay? She's of age. She's an attractive. You didn't lady. even tell us who she was. She's an actress. I couldn't tell you what movie she's in, but she's hot as shit. All right, relax, dude. All right. Just she's fucking a child talk to a compared level, to you, old man. Okay? Old man? Oh man, take a look at your dick. It's in a kid. Oh! 
Oh, What's ma'am, look, look at her nips. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the page. <laughs> oh, man, take a look at her nips. It's... What is it? All right, Come so this on. Is, this is the Patriots uh, coaching staff getting off the flight back in um, in uh, Boston. And then Pat Matricia, who is the defensive coordinator, he had this Goodell shirt on with Goodell dressed as a clown. Who cares, dude? They, won. they don't like Goodell, Rock. Yeah, but when you won. When you win, you, you fucking stop being a fucking dick. Yeah, then it's not they fun. Can't, they can't you know not what be it's dicks. like, right? What's that? You know, the one whose name we're not speaking oh. today. We're taking <laughs> a little break. Not be named. <laughs> okay. I swear. It's Tuesday. Dude, I'm just right. tired of hearing people talk about them. I know. I feel I'm like I've had a little break today, though. It's good. You know? It feels good. It's nice. Peter, you're still not dating? Yeah, I'm just like rocking on my own. Like is there I, somebody that you're thinking about, though? Like, you is think that would what be it a, is? A, well, somebody like, you're yearning for? Well, like, I mean, I had my break, like, I had my big breakup where I moved in with her. And then Man, that was out. a long time ago. That was a year through. ago, but I'm, I'm yeah. still not, like, I've, I've thought about going You loved on. her, right? Oh, yeah, I was, I thought I was going to get married. Yeah. Aww. Get over it, dude. I know so somebody sad. who's dated her, somebody that we all know. You know, I guess you know? No. Okay. Mm. All right. Who? Somebody we all know? Somebody with the skanks crew. You really? didn't, yeah, you didn't know about it? No, I had no idea. All right. Uh, wow. Anyway, the um, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're moved on. Everybody's moved on. No, I would. I would love to know if there really is somebody. Yeah. Mm. Think it's all the skanks. Wow. Who is, is it? Like one of the like. Uh, I, dude, I'm not going to get caught up in this. I just was in a nightmare because of fucking Chris last night. <laughs> he can't okay? get involved. Are you going to bring this up again, exhausted. Vito? I mean, come on. I would. I just. I like. I guess Vito. he does. Here's what it is, Vito. Mm-hmm. Chris doesn't like to say the name of his other show. <laughs> Don't say it. That apparently isn't getting the fucking listens that it should be. Why won't you? Were say you it? aware of that that you were disappointing? In the I, listens? I didn't know that. I didn't You're know the that. last show. Out of all of them. Oh my god, that's terrible. Well, the entire well, first network. First of all, I can't believe they would say that to you. That's horrible. Well, they want, they think he's funny and they want to get the numbers up. And there's just practically no listening. There's no one listening. Like, Chris and his friends could get together at Chris's apartment, open a window, and have the same amount of listeners. They don't need microphones. And he says he brought that up to you. He never brought that up to me, <laughs> that fact. Yeah, what did he say? You're just not getting the listens that you need? No, I just said you should promote the show more. <coughs> All right. Cool. <clears throat> anyway, the point is this. It doesn't matter who she is with. You're done with her, right? Yeah. It's over, and you're right? moving on. You're looking on. Well, no, and now there's these new stories developing. I'd like to know them. Don't even worry about it. So who's on your mind now in the future? Who are you thinking? Is there anybody here at work that you like? No. Lauren down the hall. No, not down, and me and Lauren down the hall. I'm, the size difference is terrifying. Mm. And that last girl you had was really big. No, she wasn't really <laughs> I mean, big. she was really big. She wasn't really big. I mean, she scared everybody. <laughs> she was 6'7". <six>, Who else <laughs> works around here that would be good with Vito? Um, Brooke? I mean, that I haven't seen Brooke in forever. I would love for that romance. Did you try anything with Brooke? You were interested, right? I was definitely interested, but I never tried anything. Yeah. Would you let on? Here's the thing. I think Brooke comes from money. Yeah. And she looks down on him, and he's not going to be able to afford the kind of life that she needs. But, like, could we get, like, maybe, like, a Romeo and Juliet status? Going, I, you I've know? never read that. Is it good? Oh, it's so good. And everything works Great out ending. at the end? Yeah, it's really good. good. So that's the kind of love you you need to be people, looking out for. People are really disappointed when they see, like, my zip code and, like, where I live, and then they find out how money I act, how much money I actually come from. Well, first of all, it's none of their business. Second of all, when you came from there, it was, you know, fucking West Side Story. Oh, yeah. When your parents moved there. All right, so, and you said you were racking on her? People are writing in that you said you were racking on somebody. No, it wasn't that. What's, I don't know what it means. I guess that's racking? somebody that you were interested in. No, I said, I didn't say, I, ra- I, I said. You were racking on your own. I think you said, said a racky. Oh, I said I'm racking on my own. Oh, yeah. Rocking. Yeah, rocking. he's racking. Okay. All right, slowing us down, slowing us down here. I right, said so maybe you're not ready to start dating yet. I don't know, but I look at Chris and I think, man, he's doing so well out there, yeah. and I look kind of like him. I know, not kind of like him. The Fonz, your mom's fucking idol. 
uh, said that you two were twins. Yeah, he was standing right outside there. Chris was like telling me to do something, and Henry Winkler just going, "Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's all let's all do that." And then he goes, "Are you are you guys twins?" And then he asked if we were twins, and why didn't we bring him in? Is there a reason we didn't want him? Um, was it to push his kids' book again? Yeah, he was doing yeah. a kids' book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He writes books for dyslexic kids. It's called You Can't Read This. That seems mean spirited. There's well, no the chance. Bond is dyslexic. <laughs> so that's yeah. his like. Yeah, the first script. time he read the script, he did his line like this. Yeah! <laughs> they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> you like making fun of dyslexic children? <laughs> Who are those stars? Oh, he hosts a show here. Mm, okay. Well, Nigel healthy. Barker. I mean, <laughs> I, what's his story? Um, he used to like be one of the uh, judges on American Idol, not American Idol, America's Next Top Model with Tyra Banks. Oh, so he must be doing something over at the the former. She's got all the info of stuff. She does. We don't have. You making a lot of friends here, John? Yeah, yeah, I'm making a lot of friends. <laughs> she seems popular in the hall. Well, she's got she's got her. the pop sensibility. Mm-hmm. She knows who the models are. Yep. She knows who the hip hoppers are. Yep. Who else do you know, Jen? Where else are you into um, fashion? Yeah, I like the fashion. Oh, yeah, a little tiny. Yeah. Um, you know, I follow it. <laughs> yeah. She loves fashion. She does. She's- fashion. Turn to the left. She's like. She, but she's got the do goon like squad. A fashionable, you know. She's you got the goon squad, it, but... and she's coming to town. Beep beep. <laughs> we need to break here, Chris. Yeah, we should break. Uh, is our guest here? Not yet. Good. So it might be nice to break, get that out of the way, right? Exactly. All right. This is High Society. <laughs> You're listening to us, Chris. Stop. Take care of your responsibilities, so I don't. They don't back up on me. Vito even does it right now. Anyway, I want to talk to you about it off there. Okay. Right back, Bennington. And now for your main event. The champ is Standing at six foot five. The champ is 295 pounds. The, champ is the world champion. The champ Judah Freelander. He's the best around. And Judah Freelander will take you down. Yeah. Fucking sick top fellow. The champ is here, Judah Freelander. Uh, America is the greatest country in the United States. It's coming out later this year, his special. Also headlining the Village Underground, Monday, February 13th at 8.15. Uh, and then performing uh, February 24th and 25th at Great Scott in Austin, Massachusetts. Judah, how are you, buddy? Yeah. The champ. Uh, I just want to say uh, that's the most honest song I've ever heard. It really is. <laughs> just the honesty and the truth yeah. that comes out of that song is something you don't hear <laughs> in music these days. No, uh, it is true. You're doing incredible. Thank you. You know, um, a lot of people are asking you to run for president now. I don't know whether it's yep. something you want to do. Well, I could probably be more effective outside the way. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like moving into a smaller house, <laughs> you know. And I'm not a kind of guy, yeah. you know, I've never had a maid. Yeah. You, know, you get all these other staff living there. Right. It's like, what, what is this? You right. Know? You're alone, kind of a lone wolf yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if I was president in the United States, I'd live in a cave. <laughs> in the White House. I'd live in a cave where nobody knows where it is. And I'd have the White House just uh, for free for whoever wants yeah. to stay there. Nice. Stay there. Yeah. 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 For yeah, you have to be. Folk. You have to be legally homeless to <laughs> stay at the White House. God, that is so cool. That's really you know, nice. I give back. <laughs> that is great, and you'd be comfortable in a cave. You know, that's fine for you. And I did a treehouse for fourteen years, <laughs> and uh, underground has its uh, it has its upsides. You know? Sure, you don't have to worry about weather. Treehouse right. when it rains or sure. it's windy, it's a that's little a problem. Yeah, you yeah. know. But if you're in a cave, you're good. Good moisture. You know, it's never too dry or anything. Yeah. And, uh, and you're closer to earth. It's like you're grounded. You, know, you, <laughs> you want, do stay you grounded. You want a president to be grounded, you know? <laughs> yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. So the two of them just lie back and forth the whole time and just be like, 
All right, let's just like guess. Well, I saw Brian Williams the other night. He puts up this. He's doing the show, and for, he just has the. He puts up this bet bar, and he goes. I bent this right before the show started. I go, I don't know whether you did or not, dude. I mean, if you say you did, I don't believe, believe you. <laughs> you don't you know, need to say that. You he's don't still lying. His new show is called The 11th Hour. It's only 30 minutes. <laughs> he's still lying. It's so lying. <laughs> so, dude, your show's 30 minutes. It's called The 11th Hour. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, man. He's very... Um, he's fun to make fun of. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, and it's we need to do it. Yeah, he deserves it. Yeah. Well, these are these are such fucked up days because it's like you can't stand anybody. Yeah. You know. Well, I think the reason why you have all this fake news, one of the reasons that fake news is able to get so much attention and publicity is because the regular news, so much of it is so weak. Yeah. You know, and it's so poorly done. So if if our news was actually really good mm-hmm. and really strong throughout, it would be much harder for the fake news to get traction. Right. But because, you know, there's so much and I'm like I'm so I'm like way to the left of the Democratic Party. Yeah. So but it's like it's, you know, because there's so much the the news that they don't even cover. You know, there's I mean, sure. they, they do like what what is it? I don't know, three stories in an hour or yeah. something. I mean, that's like nothing. You know? Most of them are Trump tweets anyway. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, just analyzing not... his tweets. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, good let's, job, guys. Yeah. Let's bring people in and decide. And there's Suddenly there's 15 people and they're all the in agreement <laughs> that this tweet sucks. Yeah. I always wonder, like, how do they find those people when they have those, like, you know, the... They'll get some people in like a studio audience, some yeah. of those CNN shows or whatever, and they'll look down like, where? <laughs> like the, who are they? Who are they? Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're always the undecided. So we yeah. have a guy here who's an undecided. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Why haven't you made a decision, dude? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. You know, I think we're a pretty dumb country and it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. You know, makes it, you got to say one thing. Yeah. Whether you like what's going on in the country or not, we're the most entertaining country. That's our business. That's what we export. You know, that's, that is exactly yeah. what we export when you go overseas. I'm yeah. good about it. You know, when you go overseas, you really realize it because our TV, music, it's all over the world. It's all over the yeah. world done exactly. It's not even like, oh, we'll take their ideas and work it. They just go, here's facts of life. Go ahead yeah. and put it on right here. Even yeah. though you don't speak this language, yeah. just watch it, you yeah. know? Well, and, a lot of people learn English from watching our yeah. shows, you know? Uh yeah, even when I go to sh- do shows in Europe, they they know all the references, right? And everything they where we are like their reality sh- show, right? Yeah. You know, uh, like like the Real Housewives or whatever, whatever train wreck show there is. Yeah, that's just us for them. Yeah, you know? and uh, so it's pretty cool. They we they entertain the world. Yeah, they we may destroy it, but at least we're giving them good entertainment. <laughs> that's part of the it. entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean, Bruce Willis style. <laughs> Yeah. It's like um, we're gonna destroy you. We yeah. have a lot of fun. <laughs> and the videos of it will get a lot of views. So many. Yeah. yeah, we don't make any steel products anymore, but we put out fifty comedy specials a week. Now. Yeah, <laughs> it's constant. There are a lot of comedy specials. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a requirement now. It used to, to be, be a something, citizen. Yeah, I think you should, you have to, to be a, a citizen. Yeah, you have to have a comedy special. <laughs> it would be like Robin Williams would do one years ago, mm-hmm. and then two years later, Carlin would do one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And now it's like uh, I gotta get my comedy special out. I'm like, you're a metal act. Why are you? Yeah. Why are you recording a comedy <laughs> special? <laughs> no, well that, well, that goes to show it's. Uh, I mean, there's a few reasons. I think I think the main reason it's so popular is because it's it's cheap to produce. Yeah, and the the companies make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's a big part of it, and it's fast. You just you know, it's almost like in music with like one hit wonders or whatever. It's like yeah, they're not. I mean, I think some people they're interested in building careers, and there are certain people who get huge pushes. But if you notice on that stuff, there's a lot of people who don't get a huge push from whomever's putting it out, whether yeah. it's Comedy Central or Netflix. But they're building up this massive library yeah. of stuff, you know, um, and then they just kind of see what sticks. But they definitely, I think there's always a few a year where they push it hard, you know, where HBO will do it. Or, yeah. Because there's tons on Netflix every week, new ones. But 
I think there's still only a handful that they actually that Netflix really gets behind and right. promotes. You know, uh, you saw them do it for Tom Segura, Ali Wong. Both of yeah, those had uh, real traction. Che, Michael Che, yeah, Michael Che's. You know, yeah. But like Gary Goldman had one on there, and yeah. I, I, you know, I couldn't see that on Netflix unless I searched his name. You know, it, it never right. came up. Uh, you know, the visuals of it. You know, so the, yeah, so there's. A lot of things they don't really push, you know. And Goldman is so funny. He's great. Yeah, yeah Gary's great. Oh, that special is so good. You know, probably yeah. the one of the tallest Jews in the business. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Second to Brad Garrett. Actually. <laughs> but, uh, Brad Garrett is scary. Yeah. Big. He's a tall guy. Well, I was never scared of the guy. But, but oh, uh, you, there's no well, reason. That's also me. Yeah. yeah. You know, but, there's no uh, reason. Yeah, I think he's six eight. I think yeah. Gary's six seven. Yeah. That's my new thing now, where I just go up to people and I ask them how tall they are. <laughs> And whatever they say, I just act like I'm not impressed. I'm like, what are you, 6'1"? They're like, yeah. I'm like, oh, all right, okay. And I, and I just leave. And I just feel really self-conscious. Is that are you, all? Yeah, you're 6'5"? Oh, 6'4". Oh, okay. Uh, all, right. all right. And then I just go. Yeah. Plug away, Chris. Judah Freeland is in studio. Judah, Judah Special, America is the greatest country in the United States, is coming out later this year. Judah's headlining the Village Underground Monday, February 13th at 8.15 p.m. And Judah's performing February 24th and 25th at Great Scott in Austin, Massachusetts. Go to greatscottboston.com for tickets. Uh, I just want to say your diction has improved a lot since I've last It has. Time. Wow. Yeah, that's much, a wonderful Judah. compliment. Yeah. yeah, I think, um, well, it needed it. it no, yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, yes. Well, he had an inch taken off the sides of his tongue, right? Was it yeah. an inch? Each side or all together? Uh, all together. So okay. it was a half inch each side. So you had okay. the, uh, the traditional tongue reduction surgery. <laughs> exactly. Nice. Yeah. And it was needed. And it worked. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's great. Enunciating now. Yeah. More than ever. Unless drooling, yeah. too. I, mean, I not totally that. Kind of missed that. Yeah. Sure. I think we need to bring back drooling. That's something you don't... <laughs> it you doesn't know, I, happen. I haven't even heard anyone mention that. Yeah. Because that used to be like a, like in the 80s, that was like a saying, you know, quit drooling. You know, right. So, like if a guy's staring at a chick or, you know, girls, you know, staring at a dude, be like, quit drooling over that guy. <laughs> right. But you don't... No one just thinks of saliva leaving the mouth on no. its own. It's yeah. not the way it used it's to. sexy anymore. <laughs> it sucks. Wait, it was sexy? It's sexy because it's, okay. it's like, like uh, you're drooling. Oh, you're so I turned think, on. I think the person. reason I brought it up is I think I am a big drooler. It's why. <laughs> really? It's like I'm, uh, I'm a big sleep drooler. Drooler. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Like, so this that is, means you're well hydrated. I would tell you this right now. <laughs> That's good. At least like 50% of the time I wake up. In the middle of the night, because I sleep with my face like on my hands like this, mm. and then I move That's my heat. position, and then like my face like get hit with drool yeah. somewhere on my face, yeah. and it wakes me up. But I think yeah. your hand makes your face uh, hot. Remember when you used to fall asleep in school on a desk, you would drool. That yeah. was a drool. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then every once in a while there was that one kid who would fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, and there was literally just like a puddle on the desk. <laughs> right. yeah. It was great. And then you would always wake up, you would drool a little bit, and then the big red mark on your forehead. Yeah. Like your yeah. forehead cannot take a desk. Yeah. But I always remember like it, like leaving a class, and I'd have a red mark on my forehead, and I would see another kid, and he's coming the other way with a red mark. We just give each other like a salute. <laughs> like we don't really. Love that's sleep, awesome. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, I always viewed school as like a prison sentence. It's just like yeah. do your time, good behavior, time yeah. get out early, you know. Unbelievable how difficult it was to, from first grade to twelfth grade for me to stay in there. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I like I go like yeah. if anyone's just sitting said, at a desk. Yeah. Just, ugh. If anyone's like, Do you want to go? I'd be like, Yeah, let's go. Let's fuck yeah. you know what I mean? Let's go stand yeah. in the snow and smoke cigarettes. Yeah. It's better than being in here. I like the, I had brought up a thing that like how much money would you go back in time to do school? The amount of people are like, oh, yeah, I do that. No problem. I do that for half the money. I'm like, were you in school? Were you actually in school? Some people like school. Yeah. I always hated it. Some people I think they hated peaked it. there. I, I hate it, too. I hated yeah. the process. And I hated the fact that no one got to talk except for the one person, probably the most boring person yeah. in the room, yeah. talked for the full 42 minutes or whatever yeah. it was. I also didn't understand. I like how you timed it too exactly. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you knew. Yeah. It wasn't 45 minutes, it's yeah. 42 minutes. <laughs> I would be yeah. looking. Yeah, like, remember looking at the clock yeah. all the time? Come on. <laughs> you hear that little thing? It was like, thank God. Yeah, that was the one bell you liked. Yeah. yeah. And then like the thing of like, if you want to speak, raise your hand. Like, not only is that person at the front of the room. Right. They're just like, raise yeah. your hand if you even think about a thought yeah. that you want to share with people. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, you have to ask, you have to ask permission That's to, to vocalize your, yourself. Right. 
Yeah, now, that, that's, that's serious oppression. <laughs> it's You're really right. weird. And the thing would always be, if you wanted to be called on, don't raise your hand. Because they would go beyond the people that were raising their yeah. hand and calling someone else. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm not even paying attention. I don't even yeah. know where this is at right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, As I've gotten older and I look back at school, I start to realize the entire thing is not about education. It's literally about where do we put these fucking kids right. while the adults are working? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or even if they're not working, to get them out of the fucking house. That's what education's about. It's about getting kids away from their parents. Nothing else. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's, <laughs> there's a ton of truth to that. And the, immediately, it's the only time in your life that you ever say pledge allegiance, right? You only do that as a little kid. You don't, yeah. we don't walk in here and they go, okay, now we want you guys to pledge allegiance. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very weird thing. Yeah. That's always, that was the other thing of like, like even in the, in the sports games, everyone was getting mad at like, you know, not everyone, but yeah. there were people getting mad at Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. I, I liked what he, I thought he was great what he was doing, but it was like, but they're getting mad at it. It's like, dude, this is San Francisco versus Green Bay, Wisconsin. Why is the national anthem even going on? Right. You know, this is America versus America. You know, <laughs> if it was like the Olympics or something and it's us versus another country, I can understand a little bit, but like, yeah. you know, I mean, there, it should be like the San Francisco anthem. <laughs> You know, and then you sing the uh, the Green Bay Wisconsin <laughs> anthem. Also, you know, it's like what's the big deal? These guys yeah. aren't going to war or anything. Yeah. You, it's like this is a, it's a, it's a fucking football game. <laughs> Who if, cares if there's a fucking you know? If you're mad at Kaepernick too, then you should have to stand when you watch TV and they play it. Yeah, no one stands at their house and will go, yeah. "Oh my god, stand!" Yeah, yeah, yeah take your hat off. <laughs> yeah, how come you don't have a flag right above your television set? Yeah, and salute it. Yeah, yeah, you should have a flag in every room. Yeah. So you remember what country you're in. I don't know why kneeling is such a bad thing, because if you do it in church, it's a good thing. You you're know right. I mean? Yeah, you know? maybe he was just being religious. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> maybe he was, praying, like religion maybe religion he was praying to Jesus. Yeah. yeah. No one ever said, if you kneel during the anthem, it was bad. <laughs> Before Kaepernick, no one ever yeah. complained about if you were caught <laughs> kneeling somewhere. What if he just laid down, like flat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take a nap. And drool. Drool. <laughs> drool for the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Or if he just uh, got on his back and started doing the bicycle thing. He's bicycling. Oh my God. During the anthem. <laughs> but that's the only time that, that you have to pledge when you're a, a kid. And then you don't have to do it again. Yeah. If you did, look, there's Rich Foss. Yeah, I uh, was just texting with him. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, he's without his you hat today. Yeah, he's got a fresh haircut, too. How are his shoes? Oh, hold on. oh, I guess, hold on. Fresh yeah. haircut, man. We no, were just I saying. I guess, I guess number 46 is in right now. <laughs> number 46 are the best comics in town. Huh? What You're talking about yourself. Mean? Huh? He's talking about himself. Yeah. He's talking about himself. No, he used the 45 best comics to give their Super Bowl picks. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I didn't get a call, so I must be 46. Why didn't, why didn't he get a call? I just thought. Oh, you, wait. That's right. You always said that because you're a gambling addict, you don't want to be part of it. No. Yes. I didn't want to be part. I didn't want to be part of. I just didn't want to deal with whatever they asked me to deal with, and I yeah. used that as an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what you got known for that. Because I remember a couple of years ago, I said, did you call Rich? And he said... I did, and he said it might re- kick up your gambling addiction. <laughs> I hit the I hit the number today in Jersey for seven hundred. Right. Well, they get calls then. Yeah. Why'd you so call me and just to yell at me for something? No, 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 no. We're all on your side. I want everybody you likes you. Say hi about everything. Oh, hi. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. Uh, it's good to see you. You know, uh, I look. Hi. There's my favorite. You like her, right? Well, yeah, he loves one Jen. because she knew what album to pick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two. Uh, she's. Just young and youthful, like my daughters. Yeah. She reminds me of my daughters. Like, she still has hope. Yeah, she yeah. still has hope. She doesn't know that this is a, an awful business to be in, so she's always She smiling. walks around this building, like, it's Mar- seriously Mary Tyler Moore. Like, she looks around. <laughs> yeah. like, this is yeah. great. This Every is time weird. there's someone in the fishbowl. It is weird, this building, because you have, you have, like, I don't know, what is it, 30 basically radio studios on yeah. one floor here? Yeah. And then everything else is just, like, Bankers. You know, every other floor is like finance. Yeah, it's and scary as shit. You always, when, you when, you, when you come to this building, how many floors are there? Like, I don't know, 50 it, floors? Yeah, 50 know. floors. Yeah, but it's like literally everyone has got some, you know, tight, you know, More? uptight, you know, corporate, 
you know, finance kind of job. And then, th- and then the floor we're on, everyone's just doing radio. Silly time. I, I yeah. just got off the elevator. Yeah. Four guys got off. They, they all look exactly alike. Yeah. They all had the same button down shirts. It was yeah. almost, oh no. That's them right there. Oh, Jesus, no. They're getting, they're after you, boss. What is that? Amber alert. Yeah. An amber alert. Wow. That doesn't happen on my phone. Yeah. Did it vibrate? Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you block, oh, yeah, Am- yeah. boss? Did you block Amber Alert on your phone? <laughs> I, like, I don't want to hear about that yeah, shit. I told him I quit gambling, <laughs> yeah. so I'm not gonna go out. No, that's for the little girl. I just read that before. Yeah, I didn't see it. No. Uh, She's I, with her dad. I, I think. watched such a cool movie last night. Yeah, what's that? I was gonna call you for a what movie. movie? Uh, I give him rec- movie recommendations. Really? That's I, nice. I gave him a good one uh, a few weeks ago. Birdie. Birdie. Oh, I love Birdie from, from the 80s. Yeah, 1984. Yeah. Parker. It's Matthew Modine and Nicolas Cage. Yeah. And they're both like uh, fucked up after the Vietnam War. Nicolas Cage was amazing. Great. That in that. Yeah. Great. And yeah, and then Matthew Modine, he did Birdie and then Full Metal Jacket, I think, yeah. back to back. Yeah. We're like, oh, this guy's going to be a great, serious actor. Yeah. He mm-hmm. should have been up for something. Yeah, you know. At least. Oh, yeah. No, he I was mean, incredible. Yeah, in that movie. Incredible, just the way yeah. he sat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, phenomenal. He was always great. I think yeah. he's on Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah, he's yeah. the scary. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So but that's I, cool. He's yeah. still doing stuff. You know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had him in one time. He had done this thing about just Full Metal Jacket, and we talked about Full Metal Jacket for what, like forty-five minutes. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. It was unbelievable. Yeah, he seems like yeah. a really cool dude. I've never met him. Well, you know, when you have that Stanley Kubrick, like he went to do that movie and like two years later, he's still doing it. Like yeah. he's he was supposed to be doing other films. Right, right. Most movies yeah. are like yeah. the big Hollywood movies usually like three months and yeah. movies like a month. Yeah. That was like a couple of years. Why did it take so long to, to I think that's why he does Kubrick it. He just, shoot, yeah. shoots over and over and he's in no hurry and yeah. That kind of money they're blowing that kind of well, money. Well, he only, he, people think that Kubrick is big. He's always worked with a very small crew. Uh-huh. It's kind of like me and my them. stand-up albums. I just it, keep making it over and over again yeah. and never putting it out. <laughs> yeah, no. He's been recording yeah. himself. Longer than Voss has. Voss yes. has five albums. <laughs> I have zero. <laughs> is that because you're perfectionist when it comes to it, though? I think that's one of it. Dude. OCD, perfectionist, Dude, I, and then ADD, I just get distracted, I'm working on something else. And, let me know. record it. I would have just fucking put my phone up the last time I saw you. Cool. I actually out. did video, I had video of that show. Did you? Yeah, yeah. It was he's, killer. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got, so he could put out, because he's so good, and he's so good with the crowd, and his character, everything. It's unbelievable. He could have, I mean, he's not my league, but he could... <laughs> Easily put out three because he I seen he has yeah. all the recordings too. Yeah, yeah. He's, he probably has no furniture in his house, it's just recordings <laughs> and tapes. <laughs> like, do you listen yeah, to every yeah. show? No, I hardly ever listen. Oh, I usually good. get too depressed to listen, so I don't listen. I could never listen to myself. It's yeah, so it's depressing. I, I can't if like I'm, I'm already lonely. I know yeah. I have to sit in a room and listen to myself talk, and I've already said it before. Yeah. It's like oh, when I hear. Anything of that comes out of my horrible, lispy, slobbering mouth, all I do is Did go, you always oh. have a lisp, or did you yes. work on it? Well, no, I mean, <laughs> that's why I don't do uh, shows with other lisps. That's his angle. He doesn't have a lisp. That's all part of his thing. You know what? Uh, he's good. Me, he's he's really practiced good. it for years. They'll put yeah. me on the show with Will Savinch. I go, look, I don't have any other lisp, guys. I, I, okay. <laughs> this is me. Yeah. But it's only two letters that's ruined my whole life. Two right. letters. What are the toughest letters? Uh, uh, H. Uh huh. And, and, uh, C, C, and whenever that word C-H is. C-H together? Yeah, or S, yeah. S. But help, that's right. no problem, or, you know what I mean? Or sit, but sugar. I saw it's a, all in, the, yeah. in my jaw. I saw a comic, and he had a lisp, and I, I waited for him, I walked over to him, I go, hey, that's a fucking buddy of mine, stood. That's not yours, you're fucking <laughs> ripping that off the box. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, I'm sorry. He goes, Rich told me I could do this. I go, I know for a fact he didn't. <laughs> yeah, but did he spit on you? <laughs> yeah. Voss actually had a lawsuit with Daffy Duck when he first started. And, and, and you won. You won. Because he, you, no. it was well, proof that you weren't ripping him off. It started yeah. with that little, the little bird with a dog who you say, get him, Chopper. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't remember that cartoon. Yaki. That's, was that what it was? Yeah, that, uh. I don't know that. Uh, yeah, it was Chopper and I think Yaki. I don't Come on, look it up. I don't know up. that either. Yeah. And the best word. Oh, Chopper. Lists Those... are actually more common than you think. Almost yeah. everyone has. Not on, not on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Yaki the duck. What is it? Yaki the duck. Yeah, but we'll find the video, not a picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
Chris has improved his diction a lot. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> All right, hold on. Really? Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, just the stencil yeah. will be good. <laughs> See, oh, I don't like know if I know this one. Yeah, yeah you'll hear him. He looks really cute. And I'll get back to the movie I saw last night. That was so good. How are things at the zoo? About the same, huh? Have much of a crowd, Sandy? No, huh? Is that Dan Natterman? That's, that's <laughs> Natterman. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Yeah. The thing with those earmuffs on. Oh, here we go. Why those Yaki? Oh, there's Chopper. That's his right. name. Dude, I love this cartoon. Oh, yeah. Chopper. This is a radio show. Is it short wave? Do you use transistors? May I listen to you, please? Oh, he's fast asleep. Well, he won't mind if I'm one of his earphones. That's funny. I don't hear anything. Maybe there's a loose connection or something. I can watch this all day. Yeah, I, like, I did. I this is the most just, relaxed yeah. I've been all day. Yeah. yeah, I had like a wave of just calmness and joy, and yeah. I couldn't really figure it out. This doesn't even compare to the two. Uh, <laughs> I think they were chipmunks or something like rhubarb. I yeah. love rhubarb. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's some, the, somebody they, in Dale, right? It's somebody yeah, they in, yeah. Chip All they did was Chip compliment Dale, yeah. each other. They <laughs> right. were so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny. Like, if you watch these, right. like, I mean, Bugs Bunny was way ahead of his time. Oh, yeah. I mean, they were doing Bogart references yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. But these two... And Bogart uh, wasn't even out yet. That's how funny. Yeah. So ahead of his time they were. Can you find those uh, chip You know, Voss, you sometimes <laughs> look like... Who's going to find a picture Voss of Voss sometimes looks like Bogart. Oh, yeah, I noticed that, I know, too. You know, yeah. I stole that. Yeah. I, I remember someone saying that years when ago. When I brushed my hair that way, I could... Yeah. You know, if I... I'm telling you, if I could act, I could play Bogart. You played Lenny Bruce. Yeah, I I, I posted. He played the other Lenny day. Bruce. On and what? A, on American Dreams. It was an NBC, that? It was an NBC show for oh, a yeah. couple of years about Dick Clark, uh, Amer- right. about yeah. American Bandstand. Yeah. yeah. And I was in the scene with the the lead, the lead actress. Yeah, she, she walks in this nightclub. Yeah. And they're like, and Voss is on the stage. <laughs> and so the goes, great. That's Lenny Bruce. <laughs> 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 and that, first of all, they had me comb my hair not like like I had. I know that's weird. They they didn't make you look like Lenny Bruce. <laughs> I had my hair way. the way it was supposed to look. Yeah, and the, whatever. And then I started doing some of my material. Yeah. <laughs> during the run through, I was so bad. I'm going. Like, They're going to fire me during the run through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they went, was that in L.A. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, so this movie I saw last night, Nocturnal Al- Animals. Yeah. How Amazing. Was Amazing. Oh, with Jill and all. Yeah, it was great. He's turning out to be one of the better actors. The past yeah, 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 yeah. There's no. That's I love one him. of your favorites. Yeah. Right? That, I like a yeah. that movie he did, impression. Nightcrawler. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Was he was so, so good. good in that. that was a great He's movie. He's best when he plays strange and yeah, not like yeah. tries to play a rom com lead. Yeah. yeah. But just go weird with it. Well, Prisoners was good. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that yet. Southpaw, I loved it, even though it got panned. Yeah. One, he was ripped. Yeah. I couldn't tell. He was ripped. He, he likes loved it. Yeah, he liked it. Uh, I love you. Oh, you yeah. kidding me? Rip, uh, Jalen Hall. So, but I was on the plane and it was sad. There was parts that, and I was sitting next to this big tub and I had tears like a couple times. I'm turning my head. Who are you watching? Southport. 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 There were some real sad parts yeah. in it, you know. He's got a real, uh, you know, a real heart for, uh, left handed boxers. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Yeah. You know, See, but this, I, I, there's this thing, and this is true, though. Yeah, boss, the business what? is so discriminated yeah. against them, you know. When you're on a plane, right? Yeah. You, you'll you cry easier and you'll laugh harder. There's no doubt about that. So if you're Almost watching, any movie can be great on yeah. a plane. When yeah. you're watching yeah. a movie on a plane, you will laugh like a fucking child. And then if there's anything like slightly sad, you get emotional. Why I, is that? I don't know. I had that experience price? with, yeah. um, it was like my take sister's, <laughs> <laughs> my sister's keeper. Yeah. It's like a cancer, it's a cancer kid movie. I don't right. even know why I would do it. I'm a bad flyer. So I just had to focus on something. I'm really and I, it was a business, you know, I was like on business. I was with coworkers and I was sitting between them and I was bawling like really <laughs> bad. And they, like it was two guys. So they were just like, are you okay? And I was, I don't know. I'm know. just fucking really into this right now. I didn't know you had a crush on Jimmy Schubert. 
Oh, did, yeah. yeah. Major, when I was, I, major, when she was little. Little. yeah, I was, I mean, little, little kid. Cause like I grew up around all of, you know, the comedians that you were running uh-huh. with. And yeah, that I had the, I had the, who biggest, are those comedians? Like who, who uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Walters, Jimmy Schubert, uh-huh. Carlo LeBeau's, oh, the, cool. the Kenniston guys. This is out of where? Out of New York or where? No, it was out of Tampa when I had a club down there. And then oh, we, out of Tampa. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then we took cool. shows on the road, uh, throughout the South when I had a bunch of <laughs> stations down there. But she was little and yep. just thought that Jimmy Schubert was the <laughs> sexiest. I just adore and I like followed him around like a puppy. Yeah, what's well, yeah. <laughs> Like he was going, he walks like he's going to a gunfight now. <laughs> <laughs> he did it once. Like like he just came out of the OK Corral. Back, yeah. then, back then, he was the young gun, you know? Yeah, he was right. the kid. Go to you. Yeah, I first met him about 20, 25 years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah I've known him. I had the best golf story with him. It takes about a minute. Yeah. But. I was supposed to play a real, I got him on this private course in, in Arizona. We were both in Arizona at the same time. And I got him on the own. So he hit the ball over the green and he drives his cart to, then he hits the ball back over the green, over into the fairway. Uh-huh. He's flying in his cart to the ball and he goes over a hill. He doesn't realize <laughs> there's a sand trap. <laughs> so the cart goes flying in the air, lands in the sand trap. Anybody on that course that could see that hole <laughs> turned around. Clubs, everything was flying everywhere. He had to bend axles. Yeah. Right? Like it was a major <laughs> fucking. So that's it. Then he gets yeah. on the next hole and he hits the ball and he slices it. Then all of a sudden he hears a car, car horn honk. He took out the windshield to a Mercedes SUV. <laughs> OB, right? I'll ne- the owner, the- they'll never bring me back there. I brought him as my guest. He took out the windshield right after he ruined the golf cart. That's my little Jimmy uh, Schubert, yeah, the guy I you love. It. it was amazing. That was a good story. Yeah, it was really, really good. But you did my... build it up a little too much. <laughs> did I really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Let's talk about let's talk about your six years of tapes that nobody cares about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's gone through more recorders. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I actually have a collection of recorders <laughs> at my house. You can actually see how sound technology has yeah. evolved over the past 25 years by just going into my. My storage room. That his first <laughs> recording was one of those things that you pressed. Yes, on it the was. Get out of here. He would carry yeah. bank. Get out of here. Reel to reel. Yeah. I even had. I even for a while I thought I was gonna get fancy. I got those micro cassette recorders. Oh yeah. Remember those? Yeah. yeah. And those would just get tangled. Literally, <laughs> about every other time you used yeah. it, it would get completely tangled. Because the paint was like too yeah, thin had, and light. I think. Yeah, it was. <laughs> like the what you're talking the about? Mini, the, the micro cassette. I had, they were like that big. That was my first. Well, no, I had the little square one that you yeah. put the flat like that was the, the floppy disk in almost yeah that was the uh i have one of those too what is that called it's like a, it's almost like a mini cd yeah, uh, yeah, yeah 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 uh well listen i'm going to get coffee yeah uh, thank you for i didn't you're, I, you're gonna be on with opie today yeah yeah so what's the yeah. new movie you like you said nocturnal animals yeah but right, you i told you you yeah. gotta watch family thing if you like yeah 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 dark yeah, comedies yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, i didn't really heard this family it's from like last year yeah. it's when nicole kidman uh, Jason Bateman, who yeah. I think is great. Yeah. Christopher Walken. And it's about, it, this, it, it was such a great comedy, uh, dark comedy. Dude, let's do movie shows one day. You guys come in yeah, and we'll just do great. whatever oh, we're all. I love to be, be around great. people that are obsessed. Yeah. Cause you know, you know, like people, it's a struggle for them to sit through a movie. Unless it's a flashy movie these days, you know? Oh, I know. But the kind of movies that we grew up on and we yeah. love, you know, yeah. people struggle with it these Wait, days. Yeah. I was going to call in the other day. You were talking about movies. Probably in my top five or one of my favorites yeah. was Days of Wine and Roses. Oh, yeah. It was I so, great. I still haven't seen it. I heard it's amazing. Yeah. You've never yeah. seen it. It's only been out for 50 years. I but know. More probably. If you make a tape. Yeah. I'm still uh, working on my CD. I know. <laughs> that movie was so good. Like, And you were talking. I mean, there's some yeah. really great movies that people never And that of. was pre-people, like, AA yeah. even being an acceptable thing. Yeah. You know, like, you weren't. Because that was 50s or 60s, yeah. right? When, yeah. When back in those yeah. days, it was like, AA, that's something for sailors. You yeah. know what I mean? Right, right, right. We keep this in the family. You know, so for Lemon to do that, that was like uh, a major thing. Yes, that's to, Jack Lemon who stars in that? Yeah, Jack so Lemon. How great was that guy? Unbelievable. Oh, great was yeah. that. Lee Lee incredibly Remick. funny, and then other times just terribly heartbreaking. Yeah, so even when he would do just straight-up drama, it was yeah. like, oh, my God. 
Yeah. Uh, yesterday we were with Catherine O'Hara and we were oh, going cool. through the Christopher Guest stuff. But Gail was just trying not to laugh because she makes all the faces yeah. of her characters. There was you know? a moment where um, they started she's to talk hilarious. about like, who they came up with. And she started to list and she's like, John Can, Dan Aykroyd. And then like she started to make this thing. And I started to like laugh and tear up. <laughs> but it was like a serious moment. And yeah. I was just like waiting for someone to say something funny again so I could yeah. just like release that. That laugh in so that moment. Anchored into those, yeah. You know, her being funny. She was here in studio yesterday. Yeah. The, the, oh, uh, I mean, that, her and Eugene Levy. That show that they have. Oh, Schitt's Creek. Yeah. Yes. Great, so man. good. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It looks. It's funny. so good. Uh, I'll tell you, Dar. I mean, all the Christmas with Parker Posey. Right. Uh, How she yes is probably one of the. I love, love that. How I great is that? Obsessed over that movie. Obsessed over it. Oh, How did uh, her mother not be nominated for best supporting actress? Who was her mom in that? I don't, I don't remember. But how'd you sleep, Marty? How'd you sleep, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> Let's she, drink rum and Pepsi at a Styrofoam cups. She, See, that's <laughs> also when. That's also when indie movies in were general the best, back then the best. were real indie movies. Yeah. yeah. So many times. I mean, there's still some good indie movies. Yeah. But so, but most of them that are made now are just. A generic Hollywood script that couldn't get a studio agreed. Funding. So they just make it indie. Yeah. And, but it's not like. You got Jennifer really, Anderson. Something that's or like something. really yeah. different, you know, and then like 80s and 90s, 70s. Phenomenal. The indie movies were really much different. I remember than movies. if it said, uh, Miramax, I drive, oh, yeah. I drive yeah. and just go in without knowing what it was. Yeah. You know, and be like, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to go see this. Yeah. Miramax. Yeah. Well, welcome to the dollhouse. Yeah. yeah. That was great. How good. Buffalo I'm friends with that girl who stars in that. Get out, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah she's so in a, wiener does dog? a ton of stuff. Huh? Wiener dog. <laughs> Your friend's Wiener Dog? Yeah, yeah. She's the best. Oh. Yeah, Heather that, Matarazzo. Yeah, yeah. that, that movie is fantastic. Now. Once We're Warriors, Happiness, these are all yeah. Yeah. great. Let's do it. Seriously, let's pick a day <laughs> yeah. sometime. Sounds and good. we'll just come in and we'll do movie night. movies that people <laughs> need to see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cool. Right, that they may not know of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's tons That's of cool. them. All right, have you ever heard of Godfather 2? <laughs> <laughs> that, I saw it before Godfather, so I was so confused. <laughs> right, we're wrapping it up, Chris. We're wrapping up. Oh. Judah oh. Friedlander and Rich Voss have been in studio. Judah's Special America is the greatest country in the United States is coming out later this year. Judas headlining the Village Underground Monday, February 13th at 8.15 p.m. And Judas performing February 24th and 25th at Great Scott in Massachusetts. Go to greatscottboston.com mm. for tickets. And Rich Voss's album, Five, is available now on iTunes. Thank you. All so, right. Thank you. Awesome. I, this, was a, this was an extra bonus treat today. Yeah. Well, it's always awesome. great to see you, man. I'm glad Let's you came it. in. We're, we're winners. We yeah. are winners today. Yeah. I feel like it. Yeah. We're the best around. around. See you again in 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, the evening is over. We hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and we'll see you all again in 1974. Good evening! <laughs> <laughs>